I hope, I hope that worked. I think it worked. Or I'm muted. Why would it work? I don't, listen, I don't think I've ever actually used the stream <laughs> okay, deck. Yes, uh, it is working. Yay! It is working. Hello, chat. Hi. I, I should probably uh, actually tell you yes, how things are going. Yes, thank you. I do appreciate it. It's been a little while. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Who one. Who are you? What's that? Oh well, no! Who listen, it's you? only been a week. It's fine. It's fine. I'm the same person, just a little more, t a little more tan than before. Well, you can't see that. Anyway, a little more toasty than before. A little bit, little few more bug bites too. Okay, so this is the first VR stream I've done since moving. So I'm hoping this is gonna work out okay. <laughs> We're gonna find out. Uh, one issue I've had since moving is that I randomly lose visual here and there, but that uh, should be fine. Should be fine. You see me? Yes, yes. So I made it so you actually can see me looking at you. That also means that you'll see these. I was smart. I think there's a setting I can hide these, but there's also... Yeah. Okay, so the, the, the VR space, you know, this is my play area. It's not bad. Yeah. It's pretty good. But, okay, right... Right here. There's a wall. Right there. But the thing is, so it's a wall. Eh. Slants this way. <laughs> Because I'm in the top of the, gra uh, the Gravity Falls uh, Mystery Shack. So that also means the wall. There it is. Right there. So I don't want to be doing any of this. <laughs> Why did you do that? Because I'll be back. <laughs> Why did you do that? Because you'll know what it sounds like. We heard the slam. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, you heard the slam. I just wanted to show you. Well, well that's, but it's okay. O over here, this is not a pyramid. This is a, a trapezoid. It's a, here is a flat wall. So, and I think okay, there's actually James, a gap a, here, too. <gasps> the Viking Stop Swords right here. Stop living in the mystery shack. Oh, shack. sorry. What, what, what's that? Stop living in the mystery shack. Listen. My dad built the house. I appreciate the house. I'm not going to knock this thing. It's a great house. It's just, you know, it's a little awkward for VR, but I have the space I need. And now you don't usually, uh, you don't usually swing up here. Should be okay. <laughs> my, my roof is that wide. <laughs> <laughs> There's another wall over there. Anyway, hi, welcome. Uh, let me know if any audio issues and things. There's a lot of, as you saw with the lateness, there's a lot of setup you gotta do with these things, but I think it's all good to go. But I think, yes, I am back. I have lots of stories. I need to put my wrist straps on. I forgot. I don't know if I really need to anymore. Cause like these, can I show? Wait, if I put my hand outside, yes. No, it doesn't show you the little wrist strap that's like in here that wraps around your hand, but I don't know. I don't want to smash them. These are expensive. I already have two of them for each one. Ah, he's difficult. Oh, oh no, I can't see that. Oh, I forgot about it's that. He's fishing. He's fishing. Who says? From Dragoni. Wait, wait, does it show up in here? Yes! Thank you, Dragoni. I'm more prepared track. than I thought I was. You should have seen me try to resize this window. That's uh, You should have. Yeah. It was, I mean, uh, I told you guys that it was funny looking at him uh, while he was struggling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> muy, muy difícil. Now, I mean, this is all just me being here. I now have to see if I can get into the game. Okay. Hopefully, we're good. Yeah, let me know what the... I agree. Uh, let me know what the... Your, uh, yeah, here. Uh, how the volumes are and all that. Take a take talk to the hand to a new level. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yes, I can. <laughs> How you doing? But yes, um, oh, okay. Everything's in here. Ah, the waterfall. I always forget about you. <laughs> um, wait, you no, know, I, 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 I am a person who is ready. So if I open the sound thing, all right, come here. Where are you? Shush, the fuck. There we go. Put it right there for now. There we are. You got some an entire playlist just of Nintendo water music, as usual. I think I always do that. Oh, is this the game and the game? Huh. Neat. Uh, anyway, so we put that around, and we should now be ready to actually play the game. Um, yeah. Yo, oh yes, there's actually a chair. Yeah, right here. Oh, it's perfect. Like the perfect height. Why Lovely. is there fish? There's always fish. But why do I have? Chunk of fish. <laughs> I guess that was a bait I didn't use. Oh, I don't remember this thing either. Eee. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I was trying to catch a sturgeon last time. That's right. I'm going to try to stand up, though. There we go. Eh, eh. Good. Well, chat. Hello. It's good to see you. 
Uh, lots, not, okay. Just so, if anyone's asking, no bikini stories this year. Nothing, nothing Aww. nefarious. Nah, so sorry. As that's over oh, here, only for bikini you, story. Uh, no, no, no can do on that one. There's something down there. I don't want to look too close. That's spooky. But, uh, I'll press the um, button. uh, so I'm going to go and try to get some simple fish while I try to get into the rhythm of telling story. How was the I, weather? Oh, the, ah, well, weather was pretty good. I think, yeah, no, weather was good. There was one day it just let loose and downpoured, but we go around in a turtle of a boat. Because it's a it's mm. like a pl it's a pontoon boat that has just two floaters underneath it. My dad put it together with some plywood and such. And if I was smart, I would have actually prepared a picture I could show you what it looked like. I uh, think about it. But yeah, there's two um hmm. There's a duh. There's a duh. Huh. Okay. So there's like a hmm. Oh here. So there's a this. Like a two pontoons. I guess like that. And there's just a little deck on top. A deck a deck on on top of it. There we go, like that. So we're floating on the pontoons, mm. we're on top of the thing, and above it <laughs> is an awning. So we're under here, and the rain's here, there's plastic sides here and here, and then I hit a button. Go back to the, okay, fine, I'll turn around, fine. Um, yeah, so we're just under here, so it can rain as hard as it wants, there's plastic sides on there, and we can just be out there all day. We literally fished from like eight in the morning to eight at night to make as much of it as we could. Like little bricks here and there. Excellent use of visual, yes, thank you. I do my best. Anyway, I should fish. I'll just try, oh, you know what, you know what? Let's get this bit of fish out of here. I don't know what I catch with this. Come here. Uh, yeah. So there was some extra pressure on the trip this year because I think I mentioned that <laughs> yes. my my dad wants to start a fishing YouTube channel, uh, which started as I uh, I started as a thing because I accidentally bought a Roku box from Walmart because I was trying to buy a speaker. Yeah, I just completely failed any kind of tech knowledge of anything. But it was great. My dad got into watching YouTube because it was simpler for him to watch it on this box with a remote than to figure out the computer and all that because he's not a tech guy. So he's not a tech guy coming up and trying to start a YouTube channel. And I'm like, oh, yeah. okay. So we had the GoPro. Mission failed successfully very much, very much. We've been watching this classical... Uh, these classical like channels and people are like, showing off old lures because for him they're the lures from his childhood so that's fun <laughs> this is like oh I know that lure I used that oh it's a uh, hmm worth some money now that's pretty cool so he got used to watching those and I want to try to make his own yeah so we took the GoPro the GoPro that uh, we used at the get together back in like 2018. It was sitting in a drawer for me under in a, for like forever. And so my dad was just going through. He's like, oh son, one day I would love to get a GoPro. I got all these cameras <laughs> around, but I never, you know, it's always expensive. I'm like, oh, um, I've got one of those upstairs in a drawer. Oh, son, cool. How long have you had that? Five years up the, that's just been up that's been, you've just had that yeah yeah <laughs> so I just bring that down you get that and um okay oh oh I can show you here okay so right at first he's going to the local lake and fishing he's in his kayak and he's actually he has a pedal kayak so there's actually pedals in front of him and so he can fish with his arms and then pedal mm -hmm. with his feet going around the lake and so what he did was that he has a pole. Okay, well, he's got a pole. <laughs> behind him, with the GoPro attached to it. Not quite this long, but it's kind of over the shoulder and looking at him this way. And, but it's, it's not a fancy pole. It's not like a, 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 like a carbon thing. It's just a wood dowel that he taped the GoPro to. <laughs> <laughs> with, a, with a holder for it. Uh, I, I When we used the GoPro, I actually bought a $20 set of, uh, like, GoPro accessories. But it's, like, baby's first knockoff Dollar General uh. brand. 
And so, like, when we were trying to use these these attachments at the at the get together, they kept they were made of plastic. All the connections, but the 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 connection that was on the main piece was metal. So it kept like sh grinding away. The plastic was like no. So a literal like you got what you paid for kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So dealing with that. But yeah, so he's still he's but he's actually using the connections for it. He's finding different ways, but he's just kind of tooling them with things around like pieces of wood, and that's working out pretty good. So we thought we would go one further a step beyond and bring the GoPro along with um with uh, uh on this trip. And I'm like, oh god, what if this is the, like the one year that we don't get any fish? <laughs> or it's really hot, or like, cause he, oh man, he, he's just not used to technology. And now we're bringing tech into it and tech issues and like microphones <laughs> and things and cables and, and, by and the if water. Has anything, <laughs> if they yeah. has any control, tech issues never happen. Right. Exactly. Because only manual issues happen. Yeah, that should be fine. Oh, I picked up this, uh, sorry. Uh, I know how to get that back. I just gotta. There we go. Anyway, so um, yeah, a little bit of stress on that. I'll have to say. There we go. And uh, so I think I'm using the wrong bait here. Yeah. So we're doing all that, and I'm just trying to figure this out. So uh, he's doing his best. Not like, okay. So my dad, yeah, he's 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 not really used to this whole world, but he's hitting it hard. Like he's creating. Uh, he's hitting, doing intros and things. No, 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 no. <laughs> ha. Nope. I want to. Sir. Do you believe you... in your hand? There we go. Yes. So, doing all of that. So he's he's outside in the morning and singing at the, his phone in his camera, and he's like doing little dances, and he's like, okay. So he's got the GoPro here, and he'll come off the camera, and he'll come shuffling like an old man over here, like, oh, you're still here. <laughs> Uh, where was I going? What was I? I don't know. Oh, thanks for watching. I gotta go remember what I was doing. He's just going, he's just doing this whole animated thing. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's great. So I really wanted this trip to work. And so we go up there on the first day. And uh, there's one thing that we didn't really consider. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Because this is actually our first, our first trip since quarantine. So it was 2019. We made it up. But then 2020, we couldn't. We couldn't cross the border because, you know, quarantine. So we were going to the St. Lawrence a little more south. So we're finally, you know, past quarantine. We're getting up and back up there for like in our like three, four years and getting back up to that spot. So that was cool. Very nice. But we didn't think about like have things changed in four years mm -hmm. at how to get a fishing license, which <laughs> is kind of important to fish. <laughs> So we're going by all the bait shops and things, and we're like, oh, looking for the signs of, here, get your fishing license. There were no, there were no uh, fishing, there were no, no uh, signs anywhere of, of saying that. So, uh, hmm, what do we do about that? Oh, yeah, everything is digital these days, duh. Right, well, here's the thing, though. <laughs> I totally forgot. Like, like uh, in past trips years ago, and like just like this year, I totally, I totally lose signal. <laughs> so, oh yeah, yeah, because we're in the different countries' uh, towers. <laughs> so I'm like, oh no, I have no Wait. signal, and we have to either go back across the border <laughs> Wait, or find you, Wi-Fi. You, well, yeah, you completely lose signal when you go out of border. Yeah, when I go into Canada, Why? I don't have any signal. I don't know. It might just be in that area. It's more of an AT&T place. And mine might be more of, I have a Verizon phone. But that definitely, you know, complicated thing. There's no, like, gold for, ring on there. For right? us, remember. for me, at least, it's just, hey, you pay extra for data in a different country. Yes, yes. So I have to look, maybe I have the wrong plan. Because I, I still have a straight talk phone. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I'm moving my hands and they're vibrating. I think that means there's something on here. But anyway, so we're doing that. And, uh, but no, thankfully we did end up figuring this out. Nothing, hmm. Nothing there, right? Okay, no. I trust you. All right, well, bye. 
Get back out there. But no, I, I think it should be fine. I've, I've, I've played the game before. I caught the big fish in the lake. We're fine. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. so where we might be disabled? Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. Okay, so I still have a straight talk phone. That like I got straight talk back in college, like ten years ago. I've never, I've never had a phone plan. I went from like pre, a prepaid cell phone to straight talk, and just have it auto pay month to month. So I have to see uh, if my like, like that does like buying a phone card and loading minutes onto the phone. Question, <laughs> and just, Jay. Yes. What is that? Straight talk. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, well, do you have a, do you have a, a phone plan on your phone? Yeah. Okay, I don't. I I what? buy a what? card. I buy a phone card every month. That's <laughs> why you don't have anything out of your country. <laughs> yes. Yes. That that, that may, is why. <laughs> that may that may be the case. Yes. So I've just been, but they auto pay now. They're doing it all digitally, so it's kind of like I have a phone plan, but I don't. So yeah, that's probably why. So that's the situation that we are now in, going across the border. Well, there's one thing, thankfully, I did remember, is that Walmart has Wi-Fi. And we thought, so it was either going to be that Walmart actually had um, licenses there, or I could at least use the Wi-Fi there to get the license. So... Oh boy, and I could like, I can see the, 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 the stress already like hitting my dad. Like, oh, it's supposed to be this simple trip going through and he's all like, worried about the technology and stuff. And here we are unable to get a, uh, just a simple fishing license go through. But I'm like, okay, no, I found everything. We're good. Pulled it up on my phone. It's all, it's all great. And um, yeah, I did all that. And okay, okay. So in Canada, you have to get an ID card, a fishing like ID card, and then with the ID card, you get the license, and they last for three years. But we haven't been in Canada for three years, so our cards are expired. <laughs> so that's a problem. So I had to figure out how with the website to order the new ID card, and and like, oh no, do I have to wait for this card to be sent to me before I can get the license? So, no, thankfully not, but there was this weird thing where, like, they had a cool informational wiki of, like, here's how to get license. Click this link and this link and this link and this link, and you get to the place you get the the the, the stuff at. Uh -huh. Like, okay. So, so I clicked on the first, hey, I clicked on the first one, and it said, like, get your outdoor card, which I need to get the license. Like, okay, great, great, great. Click on the next link. Okay, click here to order your outdoor card online. Great, okay. And then click on the last link. Okay, here is where you get your outdoor card. And then I get taken to a page, get a license. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm like, no, that's step two. I need step one. And I'm trying to hold it together. Like, I don't want my dad to be worried about this. But I'm like, what do you mean? No, everything else said outdoor card. Where's the, where's the, where do I want the license yet? So like, oh, so trying to figure this out, going over and over and over. And I finally look at the licenses and all the buttons are grayed out. And it says like, you, you, you've logged in. I had, yeah, I had to log in with all my info. And to log in with all my information. <laughs> And uh, they're like, okay, you don't have an active card. So you can't click any of the buttons to order a license because you don't have a card. So I said, all right, Mr. Wonderful, lovely website. Where do I get the card <laughs> to do that? <laughs> and um, eventually, eventually, I figure out that the very, very top one, which I'm using this tiny screen, tiny, tiny palm hand screen to try to figure all this out and read all the text. And uh, there's a there's a button at the top where you can add the the outdoor card and the license at the same time. But the buttons for the licenses don't li light up until you add the card first. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, at this point, my dad has walked away. <laughs> he's he's <laughs> gone off to the fishing section to get his like he's just gonna get up and move. He's not gonna let this get to him. He is going to go <laughs> and uh, let me deal with this. Good so then choice. I'm like, okay, okay well, well, I got this ordered. So I get this. Uh, wow, this is a big fish. Ooh, that's a good start on there. You'd be worth some money, yes? How do I? How do I? Nope. It's a button. Wrong button. Right. Oh, oh, it's a touchpad. Ooh, $10. That's a kind of fishing lure cost now, man. Uh, oh. 
Uh, okay, there we are. <laughs> I like how I put this chair right here in the middle, and I'm not sitting on it. Out of the way. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so doing that, <laughs> it's like, yay, I got the Wait. license, but I'm like, uh, do I need to print it out? Like, is it okay that it's on my phone? Will they accept that? Like, it's not like some kind of photoshopped license to figure this out on there. Ten dollar fish. Yes. Well, yes? Uh, two things. One, are you hitting the microphone a lot or something? Uh, I am, I am shuffling. What, is it like, is like the mic bumping into my face? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, let me try that. That or the cable is bend. pulling, you know, or something. Okay, well, I'll bend the microphone out of the way here. So, cause it's, I'm still using that, like, fitness microphone that's, like, right mm -hmm. here on my face. <laughs> Works out pretty good. Um, but I'll, let me know if it keeps happening. Uh, uh, also, real quick, yeah, I'm gonna check the stream real quick because uh, Logical said something might be happening, so I'm just making okay, sure it's working on mad. my end. Okay, yeah, so hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully it's just Logical's end. Yeah. I do, I do see like uh, some drop frames on there, so we'll have to see. But it's, it's good now, so hopefully it'll be okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep keep us posted on that. Should be fine. Um, yes, yeah, so where was I? Yes, yes, so I got this, but I'm like, okay, I need to go print this out. So I go up and over to try to ask the like electronics department, like, do you have a printer that I can print out my fishing licenses with? They're like, no, we don't have any kind of public printers that you guys can use. I'm like, oh, well. So I'll walk, I'll walk down to the fishing aisle to get dad and let him know that I got the license. And um, then what, he, what he had done, uh, as you probably have guessed, he walked down... <laughs> And over. <laughs> so now we have walked around each other. <laughs> so I have to walk down this way. And then thankfully I do find him. So everything is, what are you doing? Okay. Good to see you. Um, but yes. Oh, what was I going to say? Yes, yeah, so we got that figured out. Well, okay. So, but I also was reading on the paper. And it says, oh, hey. Is it was saying that if you are over the age of 65, which my dad is, you don't need a license. I'm like, oh, that's great. Hey. Oh, that's super convenient. I don't have to worry about Wait, ma making him an account. Oh, like a senior citizen, like uh, like you're you're you you've reached a ripe age. Now you can fish for free, like a gift kind of thing. And I think we have it here in the states as well that you can just fish like that. But but it didn't say anything about like you know is that Canada residents only. Or is that mm -hmm. for us coming over the border as well? And I looked at it and I'm like, eh, it's probably fine. If, 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 the, if they don't say so, you could probably argue that. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, fine. But so my dad was thinking about it, though, because he remembers when he was younger, when he was under the 65 limit, he came over with somebody else who was over the 65 limit. Well, granted, like 10 years ago, but like he's like, I remember him having to get a license. I'm kind of worried that I might need one, too. So I just Googled it uh, on there. And the first thing that came up said, yes, if you are not a resident, you need a license. We're like, <laughs> oh. So we're like, nope. So thankfully, one simple Google. But... Uh, we had to figure all that out, but yeah, we got that all ready to go. But I had to sit there, like, oh crap, I have to make my dad an account. I have to get him the card thing, figure out who he is. And I'm sitting there through the phone. Now, thankfully, I now know where the hidden button is. So this went very smoothly, but my dad is now sitting next to me, and I can feel <laughs> the, like, I, I don't, I want to call it, like, zen tension. Like, he's stressed, but trying not to let it get to him. It's just like, hey, fish. Now, <laughs> I just have to do a comment on the, I had to figure out who my father is. Well, no, no, no. I, I, I had to, 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 to see if they were in his I, system. I got it. I yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Six dollar fish. Yeah. Uh, no got that going. So maybe over here I can use the fish chunk. So anyway, yeah, so that, oh God, that's just like just getting into Canada after this like six hour drive. And, uh, so we get that all situated. We get the licenses, get him one super quick. I just save them to my phone. I link them to my wallpaper, my, my home screen. So I can just find them really quick. And uh, when you're the one being watched, yeah, that too. You're like, I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure it out, Father. I'm doing my best. Um, okay, so yes, yeah, so they're like, okay, now we can go to the campsite. And okay, so, oh, right. Normally when we go up, to Canada, there's these water-based, like you can go to the, the campsite back there, and then you would take a boat all the way out, and you'd go to a campsite on an island over there. 
but apparently in the f three years that we were gone, they shut these down. They are no longer going to be there. So we're like, oh, okay. So we have to get like a like community campsite back at the mainland, which is much less cool because there's a lot, a lot more people there to make noise. But I'll like, make the most. We're here to fish. We're, out, we're, we're, in, we're in our turtle boat with all this stuff. We can go out there all day and it'll be totally fine. Um, so I've never, I had to order the, the site like months ago. I had to get this all set up. And I've never done that before. And uh -oh. hey, did you know that when you ordered a site, they gave you dimensions and how big it was? <laughs> no. I, I, I didn't either. And I, cause I thought that, you know, they would all be kind of like the same square of space. This is not the case. Cause places have like hills and trees and you had to work around the, the, the spaces. Like, oh, okay. So we get into the park, we pull up to our campsite. And now ironically, when we last were in Canada, uh, three, four years ago, we bought a new tent, but we haven't used it because when we went to the St. Lawrence, a little further south in the years in between, we were going into a cabin. So we finally brought this like huge, bigger 10 person tent to come and go into the spot with. And this, the spot <laughs> is not only tiny, but there's a hill in the middle of it. So you have this picnic table, this campfire spot, and this little tiny square for a little tiny tent. And we're like, that's not gonna fit. Mm, that's, <laughs> not, that's not gonna fit this biggie tent. I'm like, ooh, okay. Thankfully, thankfully, the person was still at the desk. So we had to go all the way back. And she just like, quickly, like, oh, here, here, here are some spots that are open. And uh, if you just drive around, I'll be here for three more hours. Just come back and tell me which one you want and we can just transfer you. I'm like, thank you. God. <laughs> so we go out we like the first one that we see which is next to the bathroom and uh we get that all squared away that's that's all great so we drive back to the lady tell her we like it nice big open space for a new new bigly tent and um we get pulled in there get all situated this tent's fancy too uh i don't know how to how to describe this like you guys have gone camping right you gotta make sure your tent will fit. Yeah, you gotta you gotta measure the square spaces. So normally with a tent, you have a pole, tent pole that like come in pieces. Sometimes there might be like an elastic string between them, but you have to like put them together, and then you have to like bend them over the tent shape, and then put the tarp over the tent and put it on there. So not not this one. This one came with like telescoping poles, so it had like. Spider legs, I guess. There's like a central part in the middle that had little arms that came out, and you just bent them into shape. Like little, like you, oh, I should say, you snapped them into shape. So that you just have to go, and then you just take the little legs, and then they snapped in the exact spot they had to go. Just, like, so we just right now that together we just raised the tent up. So after years of putting tent poles together mm -hmm. and to make sure we had all the pieces, we're just like. This tent is amazing. Just put it up. Coom, coom, coom. Ah, it's a beautiful. I should have gotten a, 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 a picture of it because it um it had like rope lights through it. So if you click the button, the rope light in the middle would light up the whole tent. And it was like a beacon in the night, which would have been a lot less. It was good for us, but now we have neighbors. <laughs> so we're like, huh, I need to find this thing. Get out of here. So that was uh, a little different, but I don't think anybody complained because boy howdy, we were not the only offenders of the like, we're not being good neighbors thing. Cause oh man, it's a lot different when you're in a community campground instead of being out alone on an island. Yeah. Um, man, I, I get there and there's just my, my worst nightmare. There is oh, a no. baby Bug. crying. <laughs> out there <laughs> and just just going i will say it felt like hours it was probably 15 minutes if i go to give it that one but i'm like so and it, we're going we're, we're, we got there pretty late after the whole like license thing and change the campsite thing so we got the tents up we get in the tent i'm laying in bed and like the the signal like the like the trumpet horn of the start mm -hmm. of a trip is when you hear a loon sing out in the distance. It's such a nice sound, like a flute to go through. You know what? I meant to do this. I want to look it up. I'm going to look it up. 
And I'm going to... Meanwhile, I just like you going like, and my worst nightmare, a baby. A, ba a baby crying. A baby crying. No, yeah, different. no, but there was a slight <laughs> pause between the baby and crying. A baby crying. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, okay. Um, how do I get the on-screen keyboard to go up? But you can see me doing this, can't you? Oh, that's right. No, actually, not anymore. Not here? Oh, so it's all, like, kind of grainy? Okay, okay, I get yeah. you. Uh, uh, where is so show desktop? No, float in world. Oh, show keyboard. Here we go. Okay. L O O N call. All right, done. Oh, wait, no, not sorry, not 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 done. Enter. Wait, where's the, where'd the keyboard button go? Here. <laughs> It'll make a lot more sense if you can see this part, but that's okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Um,. No, I don't need a 12-hour version, really. Are you sure? No, I think I'm good. Okay, maybe this one? Let's try this. Are you going to do it? I'm supposed to hear something. Okay. That? Do you kind of hear that? Oh, maybe... oh, I heard. I thought it was background sound. Yeah, no, no, no. So th this, this call, I made it louder. Yeah, that. Like how, oh, oh man, I've been hearing that sound for years, and that I only hear that when I'm in Canada, and uh, so that's that's the beautiful like oh the the horn sound of Canada fishing trip. Ah, time to relax. You know what doesn't mix well with that? Babies. Babies. <laughs> Not a fan of babies. So I'm just I'm laying there. I'm, eh, I'm laying down on the side, <laughs> taking a nap, listening to the loons call, and they just. Like, this is not the same. <laughs> so I'm laying there. I do realize, though, that we're getting there on Saturday night. Oh, fish. I'm, we got, I'm getting there on Saturday night. So they're all going to be gone tomorrow. It's only going to be this one night. So I'm just going to let it go. It's fine. Thankfully, the baby cried itself to so, so exhaustedly that uh, it didn't, like, wake up throughout the night. So we're fine. But remember how I said we were by the, the bathrooms in our camping spot? Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. You know what people don't do uh, at night if they're not thinking about it? Say if the door Flush. is on a spring, you know, to help it close. Uh-oh. Say they don't, like, let it close gently. <laughs> oh. So everyone just goes out in the night, lets the door go, kung, kung, kung. <laughs> no one? Like, nobody. That, like, I mean, my, maybe well, they were, I, I, I did yeah, fall but asleep. that would be like my first thing, like, oh yeah, right. it's the middle of the night, I'm closing this yes! slowly. <laughs> I did, when I used the bathroom, but boy, so many people, well, and you could hear the door open. Now. Yeah, you could hear the door open, so you, you're waiting for it, like, no, 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 king, king, king. <laughs> nightmare, but yeah, what was it, was it a thing of like, you know it's coming, therefore you, the anticipation and the oh, sound yes. goes worse yes, than it exactly. actually is. Exactly. And then, and then, like, if anyone didn't do it, you're still already so tense up, they might as well have done it. It's so bad. It's, it's <laughs> such a such a mental stress game. Oh my god, what are you doing down there? Um. Anyway, so yeah, that that was a rough first night, but thankfully we get out the next day, get out there, it all works out really good. And uh, got, got some good rest, but I did, I, my dad introduced me to a thing I didn't do before, and that was uh, using earplugs to sleep. I've not really done that, but when we were doing the cabin stuff, that was kind of necessary, because there was this one bird. This bird just kept, <laughs> ah, this bird, out there every morning. I fine. What's that? Then the bird happened. I, this is a tiny fish for, it was, Hello. But yes, but then the bird. Yeah, yeah. So, but so I thought, um, uh, you know that thing, Saps? That thing called assuming. Yeah. So say I just assumed that my earplugs were in my bag. Oh no. And my dismay upon hearing the baby and being like, "That's okay. I came prepared. I have earplugs." And then not oh. having the earplugs. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, 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 nope, nope, that was not the most fun thing. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> but here's the thing. My dad did have earplugs. But, you know, I want to make sure that he has a good night and I'll figure out something. So... <laughs> he, oh, no. He was oh, so no. tired. He fell asleep. So, oh, no, no. no. <laughs> so so he, he lays in bed 
and so we listen to old time radio shows like Jack Benny, all those yeah, times. Yeah, that, that's yeah. when I listen to those. So he usually waits for those the shows to be done, then he puts in his earplugs, and then he goes to bed. But and, uh, and then he'll do that. Well, this time he was just so tired that he fell asleep uh, before the show was over. So I wake up in the morning going, ah, I'm so glad that I got through that night. I couldn't sleep at all. I forgot my earplugs. I didn't know. I have to relay down. I couldn't ask you anything. It's fine. And my dad is just smiling at me because <laughs> apparently he was laying in bed and his yeah. arm was here. The earplugs were in his hand the entire night. <laughs> he was so tired that when he woke up, they were still there. So here I was like, oh, oh, yeah. I really wish I had some earplugs to sleep with. And he's like, ah, oh, son. Let me tell you what happened to me last night. So apparently if I had known, I could have like Indiana Jones them out of his mm -hmm. hand <laughs> and then tried to use uh. them from there. But I didn't know they were there that whole time. He's just like, mm. I slept like a baby. Like, yes, dad, you sure did. Cause you also snored, which definitely yeah, helped with the problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I yes, didn't dad, actually. You were part of the problem. Right. Here's the thing. I didn't tell him that. He still doesn't know that every night he snored. <laughs> And I never got the earplugs. <laughs> so thankfully, oh. though, I I have learned a new way to lay down when you're on your side. <laughs> Instead of asking no. the boss for the new order, you found out a way to lay down so you learn things less. Instead of slightly inconveniencing someone, you decided my best call is gonna find a new way to sleep. Yes. Yes, I do. Why? Oh, uh, well. <laughs> I wanted to make sure they were okay. <laughs> they probably wouldn't oh, be okay. Yeah, no, they, they definitely could have just, uh, you know, used that. Oh, hey, there's a rubber worm here. I could use that to catch stuff, too. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, that could have been a lot simpler. But, I mean, he also uses earplugs. I want to make sure he got a good nap and stuff. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> But it was, no, it worked so, so great. I put my hand on the pillow and I laid uh -huh. my ear on that one. And then I had mm. to take my other hand and not, I couldn't mm. do this. If I laid it flat, it would just slide off. I had to lay it on my ear sideways. And something about how that hand sat, the weight of it held it on my ear. And if I got it just right and did not move, I actually covered my ears and was able to lay there and fall asleep. So it it worked, technically. So the, I was the fine. The problem isn't that it worked. <laughs> I mean... No, I just, no, I mean... I just, that was the problem. That was not the problem. Right, right. Well, I mean... I just, <laughs> we know what you mean. Wanted, That's not the problem. No, you're right. Well, I'll have you know that on the way back, once I got signal again, I ordered a 10 pack of earplugs and they're going to be in my bag for next year. <laughs> you didn't just find a Walmart? No, well, no, we, we just went out fishing the whole time. We did not go into town at all afterwards, but boy, I really would have gotten earplugs if I had known while we were in the Walmart. <laughs> now, you didn't suggest Hi. to your father that you might want that? Uh, no. See, that's part of the problem. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I had invented my new system of laying down. What is this? And you didn't just... realize it the second night. Hmm. Well, I mean, it was also quieter. The baby was gone. Everything else was fine, you know? I thought I thought from the way you told the story, the baby was there all the time. Oh, no, 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 no. Baby was only there the first night because that was Saturday. And so most people were there on the weekend, which means I had to dread. They were gone the next night. They're like, oh, God, is there going to be another one on the following Saturday when we're sleeping uh, from Friday to wake up to go? Am I going to wake up to pack up the camp exhausted because baby two has arrived? <laughs> Thankfully, there was not baby two. How does his brain work? Yeah, yeah, that's great. So you're an Indian sandwich, an Indian sandwich. Yeah, kind of, you know, it, it worked out okay. I don't, I don't think there was a kind of on that one. <laughs> it's all right. I, I made it work. Like I got sleep, we got there, we had Jay. sodas. We had sodas in the, we had sodas in the place. Yeah, but Jay, I want you to learn something. 
Mm-hmm. You make a lot of things work that they didn't need to be working. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna... I remember be, the, the fish like doing this when this bait is moving, so I'm gonna row around just a little bit. Uh, anyway, so that that happened, and now we can finally get into the fishing part of the fishing trip. Oh, fish. You fished? Yes, 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 right. After all of that, we finally got in there to go through. And, um, yeah, Good. so my dad... What, what kind did you eat? <clears throat> hmm? So, I'm sorry, what, what, what was the question? What, what kind of fish did you eat? Uh, we didn't, uh, we ate burgers and hot dogs. A <laughs> and made of chips, fish, actually. right? No, no, I was prepared. If any fish was going to die, I was going to ask my dad if we could try to cook it. But all the fish that we got this year was very, very nicely hooked. They just easy out, throw them back in the water. Everything worked out from there. So, but I was prepared that if I was going to kill a fish, that I was going to eat it, and that way it would not be a waste for the poor fish. So I, w I was ready to do it. I was ready, but no, we didn't end up eating any because we, we, we did a good job hooking. It's fine. Listen, listen. One day. I, I am. I'll, I'll try fish again at some point, but I mean, pike are not exactly a tasty fish. They are kind of the squirrel of, like, you can eat it, be it's crappy. meat, but it's not, <laughs> it's not exactly a fatty, juicy, succulent meat. It's not really that kind of thing. Like, apparently, a lot of the, the locals do not like pike because, you know, it is not a tasty <laughs> fish to do. So we're out there, they ask us, like, what are you fishing for? Oh, pike! You're fishing for pike? Why? <laughs> Why are you getting the trash fish? We're like, we like them. They fight, they fight very hard. They give, like, a, a huge fight. Like, oh, my God, the fish is on there. And, ah, it's pulling drag at you. Like, ah, it's like this, this like, crazy uh, uh, excitement every time. It's such, it's such a fun thing to do. But, um, yeah, so we're just, ooh, no, no, no. We're, figure, we're figuring all that out. Uh, where was I? Uh, but we got, we got that, and we went out fishing. Oh yeah, so my dad got, my dad was feeling uh, dumb because he, he put up the awning over the boat, like the whole cover thing I talked about before. Mm -hmm. And uh, it didn't, like he, he did it wrong. Like part, part of it he put up on, a, uh, on a, a hole that was too high. So the awning was way up higher, the front one said over the back one. <laughs> And apparently, from last year, he had put an X over it because he had actually done that before, but his his fancy note didn't work. I ooh, he's a bigger fish, and I kept the worm. Awesome. Let's see. Actually, let me check this this fish's size. Like roughly, yeah, yeah. I think this fish right here, this size, is roughly about the size of the fish that we were catching, like pike wise, here to here. So that, that nice big fish instead of being like. Eh, tiny, tiny panfish, or like like bass that get about this big, we get pike that are huge, like the length of my arm. Can I like grab its butt? And, yeah, that's about right. That's about the length of my arm. So they they fight really hard. They're really fun to do. And just you know, just the, 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 it's the one time you can play with your food stuff. It's fine. You fit in here, right? Thirty-three dollar fish. Yes. Uh, okay. But, uh, anyway... Oh, boy, boy, where did you consume? Yes. Um, question. Did you guys know that chipmunks eat, like, oh. the scrapings off of, like, uh, like a barbecue? Sure. Because I did not know this. Like, that's meat. We put the burger on the barbecue, and then, you know, mm -hmm. it gets cooked, and then it kind of burns on there. You scrape it off. My dad noticed that he was uh, scraping off the 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 burner. Oh yeah, because there was a uh, there was a fire ban. I mean, uh, admittedly, understandably, mm -hmm. there were a lot of fires happening in Canada, so they had a fire ban in the park. No uh, no fires to to uh, or no campfires to, to cook anything. You had to bring a, a gas stove that you can turn off. So he brought that, and my dad scraped it off. But the chipmunk kept coming up and eating the chips. And we're like, I mean, that you're fine. You do you, but but why? This is not a nut. Mm -hmm. Do you know that that's meat? Are you, are, did we just like change it so that you don't recognize it anymore? <laughs> what if I row around with this one? Get a bigger one that way. There we go. Uh, yes, yes, yes. 
But Canada is kind of an inferno right now. Yes, basically. And yeah, like right before we went up, we on the East Coast here, like in PA, really was getting the smoke that uh, was getting blown down from the like the storms up, up north. So we were wondering, like, when we go to Canada, is it going to be like, like this giant smoke shack? Like, how is this going to work? But uh, it was so weird. Like, the way the wind was blowing, it just kind of went like a huge, like, curve around where we were fishing and just went around us for most of the trip. We didn't see any smoke at all until the last day, which was impressive and also much appreciated, honestly. Uh, so, boy, I kind of jumped ahead on that one. Oh, okay. Well, while, while I'm on little tangents, I'll get on a second tangent here really quick. Uh, what who tangents? here? Well, I just, I had a question, and it doesn't really fit anywhere. Who here, when they take a shower, towels off? Their, like, like, dries their hair with a towel. And they're not like, why, like a hair dryer or anything. Why are you asking this? I'm, I'm just curious. How There's do you a use reason. a towel? There's a reason why you're asking this. There's it a reason why concerned. I'm asking this. <laughs> Going forward. Like, okay. What is your goal when you use the towel? Uh, like, how do you use it to dry off yourself? Because I did something, and I was tired to think of, oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, something is vibrating, I think it's trash. Um, so... <laughs> Because I realized, oh, gold ring, that, uh, okay, I use, like, friction. Like, I, I, like, try to rub my hair so hard that I heat up the towel and I heat up my <coughs> hair to dry it that way. Is that, uh, is that how, is that how everyone uses the towel? I was the just curious. It's not the reason why your hair gets dry. Is that not? You're, is that not what you do? Because it works great. Uh, Jay, it rubbing your hair with a towel. Jay, rubbing your hair with a towel does work. It is not the friction of creating heat with a towel oh. that makes it dry up. It's an absorbent, not right. a heat conductor. So you don't. You don't rub your head really hard. I, to... Not hard. I rub it sometimes fast just to like see if I can get some water out. Oh. I'll also squeeze. Right. And and you, so you're trying to like Granted, sponge out your hair. I also have hair reaching oh. my nips. No, okay, we don't we don't worry about that one. <laughs> we talk we talk about that here. No, 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 no. But so you don't and I just dry it because that's what towels do. You're thinking of a hairdryer. Well, no, it works. Like, I just, I rub it really hard. It works, but not for the reason you think it does. Right, but it gets hot. And then it gets re but it, like my whole hair but heats not up. But not hot enough. Not then, hot enough. Hold on. Well. One, it, not hot enough for a heat water to actually evaporate. And two, if it heats up that much, that's a different concern. <laughs> It does. <laughs> well, I'll have to get like a thermometer to, cause I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like moving the towel over. So as it's getting wet, I'm still like Granted, constantly shuffling it over and rubbing it really hard. You probably have less hair than me, which isn't the hard thing to be Yes, have. yes, that's true. I have, I so have. So it some... is easier to dry your hair. Yes. I took a shower before stream. It's still wet. Oh, okay, okay. So maybe that's a thing I can do more because I have less hair. Okay, so yeah, I was just wondering if anyone else was attempting to try to dry their hair. So I was thinking about oh. doing one of the showers in there, and I'm like, huh, I'm not sure if I'm people, doing this right. People 100% yeah. does the same thing as you. They just don't have the same thought process about why they're doing it that way. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it, it really feels like it works. Like I put my head, or my, my, my hand back on my head, and it feels drier than when I don't do that, but I guess maybe that's just a, like a superstition. I don't know. Very, uh, hmm. I just hadn't done that before. Uh, vi vi vibrating? Yeah, vibrating. Uh, what garbage did I get now? Come here. Anyway, yeah, so I just, I just, it was just a random shower thought. I thought I would compare. Ah, yeah, 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 there you are. Ah. <laughs> just the water getting absorbed. absorbed. Yes. I swear to God, I swear to like you have, <laughs> I rub my head really hard. But you're right, it doesn't, it, it feels like it would be dangerous to heat up my hair that much. 
but do you have you used a hair dryer by the by? Uh, occasionally, but it's just so much more to carry. Not with no, anything no, no, bring no, no, while you're no, camping. That's not, what I'm, that's not why I'm asking that. Okay. How hot does the hair dryer get? Very hot. Very, very hot. Does your hair get near that hot with your towel? Yes. What do you mean, yes? Yes. <laughs> because I rub it really, really hard. <laughs> Hi, plane. Um. So again, I, I'll, I'll have to science this. I just my 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 question was more on if that was anyone else's goal, or if they were just going okay. for the absorption thing. I I now have a different question for you. Go ahead. Go ahead. How much hair is left on your head? Ah, uh, a couple inches. No, not not length. Oh, oh, no, I'm not, I'm not looking like my actual stream <laughs> character. <laughs> no, I still, I'm not rubbing my hair completely out of my brain. I swear to God. Are you sure? Because this doesn't sound healthy. Yeah, no, no I mean, that's, that's what I was wondering. Like, maybe I'm just doing this too hard. But, you know, it, it, it works out a lot better, too, because I've been carrying those dumbbells up the mountain. My arms are a bit beefier doing all this stuff. And I'm like, I can really rub my hair a lot harder now, too. It's getting even warmer. This is great. And my hair is getting really dried effectively. And I'm like, well, how do you do this if you don't have big, beefy arms? Maybe you're not supposed Good. to do that. <laughs> and then but I started also, to doubt my methods. <laughs> that, doesn't that also feel like a thing? Like, beef wouldn't necessarily mean that you would be able to do that well. It's just technique. Technique. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. And I, I have excellent, excellent <laughs> technique. It works out great. But uh, I'll, I will, um, on, my, on my next shower, I will do some more uh, sciencing, and I'll see if I can learn anything. Wait, is there... No, there's no vibration, so no, no ring on there now. Did you avoid catching... Yeah, did you catch your fire? Yes, yes, I did. There was smoke on the last day, but not enough where we could smell it, which was good. We could smell it back here in PA. It was crazy. You could smell the wood that was burning. And you're like, how in the world is it... Oh, hi, Moose. <laughs> how in the world... Does the smoke get here like that much? You can still smell it. And crazy. So yeah, no, everything's fine. There was a fire ban. We didn't really. <laughs> I didn't get to have any campfires, and I was excited too because we went to the cabin in the St. Lawrence. We were using the the oven in the cabin. There was no campfire. I'm like, oh, I want to build a campfire again. So there we are with this dang uh, fire ban, which I mean, understandably, don't want to cause them any more problems. Like, oh, no, we can't go back to that uh, campsite anymore. Why? We burned it down, you know, as is, it happens. Doesn't that feel like a, a story I would get at some point? Yes. <laughs> is it now I mentioned I had barbecue oh, today and yesterday? Uh, no, it's okay. I have a friend visit coming up. They're building a fire pit. Ooh. So they're going to be like s'mores and stuff. So I have a fire cup. So no matter what, I was totally okay not having the campfire. Only slightly disappointed. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, boy, this is a, a good workout for not getting many bites on the, on the lure. But uh, no, no some more. You got to eat all the, all the pieces individually. Oh, that would be... I mean, I would eat the chocolate bars first. But hey, that's just me. Uh, you know, we actually haven't had some more in a long time. We mostly just bring burgers and hot dogs. And we have these, like... We call them non-drugged uh, tortilla chips. <laughs> because like, it feels like a lot of chips have this like special powder on them that makes them like really addictive that you want to eat the whole bag. So you have to find the off-brand ones that just taste just good enough where you can have a couple and you don't crave the entire bag. So that's our, our system. Um, I feel that. Man, this lure is really good at getting rings unless this is a trash or a, a, a tin can <sighs> nope ring now no one can get married around here yeah i have a question what's your question dear oh well that's that's <laughs> day four we'll get to that okay okay you know what you know what? Okay, <laughs> let, me get, let me get a simple Lure out, lure you have out your there. notes again. Yes, I have my notes ready. I, I actually sat down and wrote little notes about each day. So let's get into yeah, day I'm... one of the actual fishing trip. Wait, uh, you haven't even see. started day one? No, we haven't even gotten to day one yet. Oh, okay, okay, uh, yes. 
<laughs> I'd be kind of sitting here like, oh yeah, I'll tell Jay when Heat Maze while he was gone at some point. <laughs> yeah, we got we have six days to get through. We're just getting into day one. Oh, the preamble of the trip. But anyway, uh, so for day one, this is we're going way back. So now we're 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 getting in there. We are now putting the boat in the water. It is time to put the GoPro setup to the test to make sure that that's all going to work so that my dad can won't have to stress and relax. And um. So we're trying to figure all that out. And so we, we do some a couple of test recordings. We get all that done on there. And there's no audio on his recordings. And we're oh, like, no. oh, no. What is this? I, I don't understand. Well, I, so I forgot that the, the, mic, the external mic that I got him for the GoPro came with two different kinds of cables. Because uh, uh, you ever look at, like, a headphone jack? And sometimes the headphone jack has two rings on it. And sometimes the headphone jack has three rings on it. That's a TRS cable and a TRRS cable for the three ring one. So I'll nod and smile. Yeah, yeah. This is something that says that we ran into actually. Well, that I guess I ran into with the setup uh, for the get together. And I totally forgot about this. But yeah, so basically for a camera, they use the two ring headphone jacks. But for a phone, they use the three ring. So what my dad did was he hooked up the one for the phone with the three rings to the GoPro that needed the two rings. So we're looking at it, we're, we're poking at it like, oh, why doesn't this work? Is the settings all wrong? Go go through on that one. And finally, my, my dad, my dad thought of it. He felt all proud. He's like, oh, maybe I used the wrong cable. We look at it, oh yes, you did. So, and he had thankfully thought to check this really early because we could have went the whole day the whole day where no audio on any of these. He's trying to like talk about the lure that he's using, the techniques, tell stories from the past trips, do all this stuff. So if he had no audio from the whole day, he would have been so <laughs> sad. Yeah. So, whoo, that was nice. And it was a quick fix, like that, that happened in the first hour. And then we had great vision. Like we got our biggest fish on the first day. And after worrying that we we're gonna have this horrible, like hot or no good uh, fishing day days, like there's no fish, to get huge fish in the first day was so relaxing because we didn't have to worry about getting the big ones anymore. Like we got some like some of the biggest we ever got at. I think 28 inches and 29 inches out of the out of the Rideau Lake. It was very cool. So that was nice. Um, yeah, but yes, no, it's fine. Actually. I think everything is fine. Figured that one there. But, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, I also got a huge uh, smallmouth bass on there. So, yeah, first day went great, and we were immediately able to relax. That's fine. And we get into day two. Uh, oh, so, boy. day two. Day two was a little more temperamental than day one because the GoPro kept shutting off, and we weren't sure why. Because we brought these, like, really big battery packs that uh, we were using to be able to actually, like, power the thing. Like, oh, we, we, only, we just have little batteries we need, but we need to bring, bring these big car batteries. It's going to be great. And that will be used to uh, power the GoPro. Apparently, the GoPro is not smart enough to not use the, the, its own internal battery first and then the battery plugged into it. I'm like, what? Why? So when the internal battery died, it was like slowly charging the internal battery with the battery pack, the external one, but then it would die again because it doesn't quite give it enough constant power for it. <laughs> So it gets turning off over and over, but we didn't know why. It would, it would keep happening when my dad got a nice fish on. So, okay, let's see here. Now I need to get to come in here. I need to, I need to show. What my dad did was he put the, the GoPro kind of over his shoulder. Like there's an awning above us and there's a clamp that he had that would look pointed at him. But boy, uh, like I bought him a remote to get the, he put in his wrist to start it. But like the, its battery would die, it wouldn't always connect to it. So he just he just wanted some consistency. But as with much technology, consistency is not very not not always there for that one. So he just started to turn and hit the the button on it manually, and that was his way to do it. But that meant that he had to like take his hand off the reel and 
get the and get the button. Well, a lot of fish would jump and get off, which that might have happened even with, with both hands on there. But with so many like big fish getting off and over and over, he was getting more and more frustrated. Till eventually, he did actually like. Oh, right, here we go. He took a rod and he threw it down. Oh, I can't do that in VR. Okay, he threw it down. My dad doesn't do that. He's a pretty mellow guy. But like, so finally, here he is in Tekushu land, like where we've been with like streaming and stuff. And I'm like, oh no, that sucks. But thankfully, yes, yeah, super Nintendo, exactly. It was so frustrating that this was happening. I was so happy though that this was happening on the second day and not first day but thankfully eventually we did figure out the problem with the battery and that only happened on the on the second day and actually which was nice it was the second half like because the first half of the day they were fishing and the battery was fine so we're catching a bunch of fish on there so we had already gotten some nice footage it was just the afternoon that it got a little crazy so thankfully not a whole lot of fish were missed or lost in that one and it smoothed over okay. But I was sitting there on the next to like, oh boy, I really hope that the battery was the cause of that issue. Cause he, <laughs> at this point, we, we only used that GoPro on that one cryptid walk on that, for that video. That was the only time this GoPro has ever been used. Fish. And um, so <laughs> he knows more about it now than I do. So he's, he's back there going, tech support, tech support, I need your assistance. I'm like, yes, yes. Let's try touching this button. <laughs> Ooh, so when there was an actual big issue happening with this battery, I was like, oh no, what if I don't know how to fix this while we were out here? Like, I have no way to Google it with my phone. I have no signal because I have the phone cards and I might need to change that for next year. Um, but anyway, that all worked out okay. Um, but uh, yes, yes. So thankfully, thankfully that all worked out. We did, we did again some nice fish on there, and uh, whew, was able to to finally re relax on that one. And seeing this was going to work out okay, which I'm glad because yes, yeah, so we had this nice fancy metal clamp over his shoulder, and he had the remote. Um, I think I mentioned this before before I actually left, because uh, I've, I've been having a problem with uh, my dad trying out this uh, this. Uh, YouTube channel thing is that I like to buy things to help. I like to do that. But my dad wants to try to keep this low key and simple and do all the stuff. So I've really had to fight my urges to buy him all these little cool like accessories and things that would make it easier to do. And um, sometimes I would cave. Uh -oh. There is some stuff that no. I bought him that he doesn't have yet. He doesn't know that I have them. Ready. <laughs> he doesn't know he owns it yet. <laughs> he doesn't know exactly because I'm trying to spread them out because I can't stop myself. <laughs> so, uh, God, air calculations. Yes. So, so yeah. So there's the clamp on the boat, and so I caved and I ordered them. I'm like, oh, what am I gonna do? Like the the remote was like 80 bucks and the clamp was 20. So here I got something like a hundred bucks on this thing my dad's trying to keep low key and simple. But my mom came to me. He's like, oh, Father's Day is uh, soon and I want to help. I want to help do this, uh, this show. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Uh, what do you want to try to contribute to try to get some more stuff? He's like, oh, a hundred dollars. I'm like, a hundred dollars you say? Say like 80 and 20, is that so you? So say like, <laughs> if I had this remote in mind and this clamp, that I could just mm -hmm. order tomorrow. I'd already ordered it. I could just order it tomorrow. <laughs> and it would be here really quick. I think one day shipping for that one. Wouldn't that be crazy? So, Wouldn't that uh, be weird? Wouldn't that be funny? Yep. So she gave me the money for that. And uh, when it arrived, I just told her to grab that box and she unwrapped it and gave it to my dad. She's like, look what I got for you. No, she remembered the part about the remote though. She did not remember the part about the clamp. <laughs> So she, I mean, that's like, oh, what does this clamp do? Oh, uh, that was a clamp for the thing that you have. Oh my God. So still smoothed over okay, but I think my dad caught on pretty quickly that uh, <laughs> perhaps maybe his son bought this. <laughs> so, but it's okay. Thankfully that clamp was insanely useful where unfortunately the remote, the more expensive part was not because he was having so much trouble mm. like reaching and starting the GoPro that, uh, 
I wanted to find a way to do that. Now, it sounds like the remote will work better for shorter trips because part of the issue was the battery dying. It's, uh, it's not very, it doesn't uh, last very long. It's like, oh, okay, I guess that makes sense. So at least it'll be useful later, but that, so he still has to work with the, work with it. So he, <laughs> yeah, so he still has to reach over, hit the button manually. So he has to make sure that the, the fish is hooked. So he gets the hit and normally you set the hook and then you reel in the fish. Well, he's like, mm. ur, ur, ur. beep. <laughs> 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 he's really making sure. And then he's like, oh, wow, the fish pit just now. Crazy. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. The behind oh. the scenes, this was hilarious. But it probably looked pretty good in the video, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so good. Um, yeah, so he's doing that and catching the fish. And uh, actually, um, just before stream today, when I was downstairs, we were looking into it. Like, you know how there's that the, the guys who mod the 3DS to have capture cards? Yeah. There are apparently people who will mod a GoPro to add a cable that would give it a, a, a wired button. It's actually meant for race cars. <laughs> So you, uh, what is it? It's, yeah, it's meant for race cars. So it, it's like buttons you're supposed to put into your dash of your car to push the button. So it's not exactly correct, but boy howdy, the, this, the guy who does this, there's only one guy, and he's in, I believe, I didn't see what country. It might have been, been England. It might have been the United Kingdom. And uh, so I had to explain to my dad, okay, we need to put the GoPro in a box and we're going to mail it to Europe or he's going to modify it and then mail it back <laughs> on here and he's like excuse me like yeah yeah we just send it out he'll wire it up and send it back and we'll have a manual button for the GoPro <laughs> click paper reactions oh yes yes exactly mm. uh, oh no he's got a whole real oh yeah yeah go ahead Real quick before we continue, uh, your yeah, button yeah, yeah. was kind of doing a thing again, where it's like feel like it's gonna be getting pulled or touched or something. Uh, is it is it like this? Yes. Oh, is it like that? Yes. Oh, it's when I get animated. That's my fault. That's my fault. Maybe I should wrap some foam. <laughs> How dare you move around? Right, ah, fish. Okay, I'll try to move my head less. But thank you for letting me know. <laughs> as long as it's not like the huge <laughs> that used to happen with <laughs> the old streams, because I got that new piece, and boy howdy, I better stop, have it stop doing that. Um, but anyway, where was I? Yes, yes. So, yeah, there's also a lot of bloopers of my dad, like, arguing with the GoPro, where he started <laughs> calling it techno crap. <laughs> like, all right, you listen here, you little piece of techno crap. You keep not capturing these fish, and I'm going to show you how waterproof you are by throwing you into the ocean. <laughs> or, then we'll see what kind of footage you can get me for my show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he's, he, and he's recorded these to put them into the show to add them as, like, uh, fun things to do. Yeah. So hopefully those will end up okay. Because, um, you know, sometimes genuine frustration was there, but most of the time he was, he was taking it in stride. It was pretty good. But uh, yeah, so that all worked out okay. So, yeah, so day two also went pretty good. And once I get this fish in, I'm going to check my notes on what happened on day three. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think we're going day two. There, guys. What's that? We're almost halfway there. Uh, yeah, well, I can say day two was the day that the sky just let loose and it just downpoured. But because we had the cool awning over the boat, we could just be out there all day and then just keep fishing. It was great, super comfortable. You just put some rain gear on underneath and just kind of hide under like the, uh, it's like a porch awning. You just kind of cast out from under it. The rain would come down and you don't even feel it. That's, and, uh, I guess I, I did mention, my, this is a, a boat that my dad built, which is really cool. So he actually planned all this out, made it all go good. Gamer rage, but with fish? Yeah, I'm still waiting for, like, some kind of fish-based based tech issue to happen. Like, the fish gets off and smacks a camera into the water or something, or knocks over the camera. <laughs> we have to wipe fish slime off the lens, the whole, the whole can, can of worms. Uh, but yeah, let me check my, my notes here. What, what is day three? Uh, it says... GoPro better, good fishing morning and evening, <laughs> and big smallmouth. Okay, so just standard day of fishing for that one. Okay, but that was the day like, yay, no GoPro battery was a problem. Uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, cloudy and rainy, pr pr uh, praise awning, 
Oh, yeah, at one point, the GoPro just froze at some point. I don't oh. know what that meant. It's like the thing where, like, the the screen in the back, which is the still image. <laughs> like, they just completely gone through. I'm like, oh, I don't know what that's about. It would do that. And then it would also... No, okay, there's no way. I thought there was a ring already. Um, and sometimes it would just not connect to his phone to, like... Because we had it in a fancy case, which covered its, like, internal speaker on the GoPro. So you get that connected to his phone, and it would, like, wirelessly transmit through, like, Bluetooth, and uh, put it into his phone, and you could play the video on his phone. Sometimes it just wouldn't connect, and what you would have to do is go down, like, drag the touchscreen down, get to the menu, go into connections, go down to the bottom, uh, and see if wireless connection to the setting was on or off. And sometimes it being on, you have to turn it off and turn it back on again. This is the stuff where I lose him. This is where it's like, there's no obvious indication what he has to do. He just has to remember this kind of monkey dance. <laughs> so like, okay, go down to the setting, turn it off, turn it on again, and then maybe it'll work. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I really hope that this GoPro doesn't keep doing this to him because that's what's really gonna uh, grind his gears, as I would say. So he's uh, <laughs> he's downstairs trying to learn if he can just get his old like big cameras and hook that up to the boat. Like I'm done with the GoPro. <laughs> like I'm just we'll use that one less to be fine. Like I just want wh why can't I have a wired connection? Push the button. Like he wants to have like a switch in the back of the boat that looks like the Dr. Frankenstein like giant like lever. <laughs> like all right, start recording <laughs> to go through. But I think overall the GoPro did work, so it should still be useful going on. But yeah, he doesn't like the wireless uh, wibbly wobbly connections on there. A fish issue, a fish issue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let me check my notes. So I think yeah, I think day four was pretty good. Oh, okay, yes. So my dad wanted to try to get some silent videos. Oh no, like like just like ambience, like birds singing in the background and stuff. Or loon calls, which are great. Get the loons calls on there. So we learned something about the loons. Mm -hmm. It's that we never really noticed until we wanted to get it on audio. Cause you're like, oh yeah, the loons sing. But we never noticed that a lot of the times the loon would sing when like a loud boat with a big motor would go by. Like it was trying to compete with the sound of the motor. But if you're just trying to get the sound of the loon, <laughs> the <laughs> only time that they would sing in the daytime was when something else loud was happening. So there was this big, there was this big war to try to finally get it. And okay, yeah, yeah. So we, I, I had a, oh boy. Okay, oh, I haven't gotten to this part yet. So this was this whole situation was hard for me. <laughs> Because oh, no. I am not relaxed in front of cameras. I am still so... Like, you all know. Uh, what What is it? Uh, dude, I'm already here. That whole situation. <laughs> so here I am in the front of the boat. And my dad's, like, running up with a phone to record me. I'm like, okay, okay. I have to I have to try my best to, to, to get over the... Get out of this. Because I've done some face cam streams. And I've gotten a little better at it. But there was this extra pressure. And we all know how I am with pressure. And... <laughs> To try to make sure that, yeah. I now, actually think I did okay though overall. Now, yes. I need to mention again, Jay. Yes. You're animated. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh God, the microphone. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll animate with just my hands. So, like he's in the front. Let go. Let, let, let go. <laughs> so I'm in the front of the boat. So I'm, I'm like back here. My dad's like running back from the from the boat. He has his phone in his hand, and I had to like talk about it. Like here's the fish that I got. Or sometimes I would get the fish on, the fish would jump and get off, and we have to crack jokes about like, oh, is there really a fish in there? Ah, listen, yeah. But um, I also have, I have to match his his. Uh, mm -hmm. flow for his video. Like, for me, I get very, you know, excited and loud. That's not <laughs> him. He's he's much more, I'll say mellow. The correct the, word might be normal. <laughs> the J, yes, Sam, uh, J, Sam, yes, evil. Oh, it's a can. Uh, yes. Yes, yes. So, I really had to kind of make sure that I didn't, um, you know, start getting really animated on there. 
So that was a bit of a challenge. We, we, we got there okay. It took a couple of days to really like get that, that, that dynamic back and forth, oh. try to figure all that out, but we, we, we got there. But one time I got the fish and we took the fish off. I threw this like big bass and I got back into the water. And then as that happened, the loon popped up like where I threw the fish and it started singing in silence. <laughs> But now I'm like, oh, the video timing is perfect. I'll turn back and go, oh, look at that. Forgetting that my dad wanted to record the singing <laughs> to go through. So I'm like, ah, oh, even the loons are coming. He's like, no. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> and then the loon was just gone. <laughs> Uh, there's so much to remember, but overall, thankfully, I think I did pretty dang good. Cause like my dad was a, actually a very pro, pro, prolif, prolific, proficient, pro prolific, prolific, pro, prolific. Yeah, prolific. Like he very, very commonly was taking home videos and had a had a video camera on and recording uh... things. Well, because he he had Lyme disease when I was a kid, and but the thing was back then. You, uh, no, it's Lyme disease. So back then, it wasn't really as easy to detect. They, were the, the, they didn't test for Lyme disease as early. So he didn't know if he had some kind of actual like contagious thing. So he would stay away. So he got into the habit of using cameras to record everything uh, to watch later. So he would do that very often. But even even at a young age, I would always be like shouting with the camera, like, no, no, father, please, don't, don't, oh, the cameras. So it started early for it you. It started incredibly early. So I'm it is hoping. It's shocking how many people I've seen have been like insanely camera shy to the moment where like I'm like confused why they're so camera shy. Exactly, and I don't even know why. Like he was never like intense, like dance for me, child. He wasn't. It wasn't like that. <laughs> um, so it was just a, a, an internal thing of like, you know, being, I think it is aversion to being put on the spot, which is also an issue that I have sometimes what? when a new character shows up in a, you know, in a voice acting stream. Yeah, like, uh, 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 brain just freezes. Like my brain was the GoPro, like just an image frozen in my eyes, like, uh. <laughs> So I think overall. Hey Jay, the judge showed up. <laughs> no, it's oh, more like if that. there's some if a, a character shows up that's not an old man, I'm like, oh shit, what do I do? <laughs> My backup tricks is not here. He's too young. Hey, hey, you're, the, you're the main character now. Good luck. Oh my god. Did you mean Ace Attorney and? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, goddamn insomnium uh, file. Insomnium, yeah, freaking did not guess that that guy was going to be so uh, important yeah, no. to the story. No, God, wrong, it either. was so funny. Like, I had seen barely anything, but uh -huh. almost anything I'd seen was him being like front and center. It's like, oh, everyone oh, has the wrong no. I mean, no, misconception of what's going and on the here. Things he's gone through? Like, ah, oh, God. Yeah, so here I am trying to like control those nerves. Bread and butter! <laughs> but uh, <laughs> trying to control those nerves and in front of the camera. And I, I, I am happy to return back and be like, you know what? I think I did okay. Because it really could have gotten more uh, dicey. Okay, pardon any mic bumps. I want to get a drink of water. Here it is. <gasps> Hello, water. Mmm. Lorp. Water bottle is good. Where am I going? Oh, I go with that. Yeah. So yeah, no, that oh, all seems to work out. Oh no, fish! Ah, ah where's the table? No, don't, don't leave me. Okay, well quick, let me look at the thing. What was the, what's that, the galoon call froze? Oh, okay, yeah, so there are two more things that happened on day four. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, one of them I asked about and you were like, oh, that happened day four. Oh, shoot, what was that? Deer. Oh, yes, 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 okay. We'll start with that one. So yeah, there are, we're on a Canadian lake and Canadian lakes are like claw marks that are drug to the ground. Instead of being a round lake, kind of like this, it's like the glaciers had kind of more freshly cut out the ground as they were like freezing and cracking the ground open. So they're much more dramatic. And uh, there's also a lot of islands in between the cracks that formed with all that stuff. So there's a lot of cool islands you can visit. So 
We go out and a lot of what we did, because we were actually recording this trip, and we're like, you know what? If YouTube doesn't work out, we're at least making the like highest quality home video that <laughs> our family will have ever seen. Like you can now get to see the the Canada trip. We can see how that all gets to go. So that's gonna be cool. So we went back to this spot uh, that we haven't been to in a few years. So the fishing was never quite the same as years ago. And uh, what happened years ago was we were going along the shore, and there's an island on our, our left, and the left. island on the right. <laughs> I got there, I got there. Um, <laughs> and, a and a big gap of water, like deep water in between. Like it would have been like uh, the, the, the gap between those two rocks over there. And so we're just floating around, and then like, I don't know, six feet in front of me, a deer comes running at the shore and then just poof, right into the water. And I'm like, oh God, am I not even safe in Canada? <laughs> like it's just throwing itself in front of our vehicle, which thankfully was a slow moving boat, so we were totally fine. But we're just slowly drifting away. And it just swims from one shore to the other. We're like, but we're like way out in the middle of the lake on an island. And it's a lot further distance to the other islands around here. We're like, either that deer lives here or that deer swims a long way to get to where it was. So yeah, here we are. We're, we're like, we're telling that story. We're talking about how we were out here in this spot. And lo and behold, a deer runs off the island and he gets in the water and swims back the other way. And we're like, what? Like, we have not seen that for years. And it just so happens to happen. Oh, I got one of the tiny boys. It just so happens to happen at that exact moment. It was crazy. But unfortunately, like, pointed out to my dad, but he didn't have enough time to get the camera pointed at it to record it. And it also was um, not, not nearly as close as the first one. But it was just really funny. That apparently that's just like a common spot. So we were thinking about like getting a like deer crossing sign and hanging it on a tree. <laughs> just to see if we would uh, confuse anybody. I'm gonna try to get a different uh, thing. Um, but yes, uh, where are we going? Oh, you know what? Home. I don't use this one very often. Take some rowing around. Okay, but well, yeah, that was the one that you asked about. What are my other notes on here? There, you, had to, you said you have one more story for day four. There are two. There are two. I mean, let me look at my notes again. Thankfully, I wrote all these things down because it's hard to remember all the different things that happened. Uh, what is it? Ah, yes, yes. Okay. So my dad's whole thing with his Chanel. Actually, check what they're saying here. Take a sip. Oh, thank you, Rockman. I got one. Hard life in action. Uh... I catch the thing you think. Yes, basically. Um, but, 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 okay, yes, yes, yes. So there's these old lures that he wants to showcase, which are just ones from his childhood. Well, he got me these, uh, what are they called? They're called a spoon plug. And if you've uh, gone fishing, you've probably wait. heard of a spoon. Yes. Uh, you're red and it's trying okay. to go green. Okay, I will wait, I will wait. Probably a little hiccup here and there. Uh, yeah, I'm now seeing you have 4% drop frames. Oh, God. Oh, seven before, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll wait. Okay, but it, it is 4,000. So it's not zero. Are we still seeable at the moment? Yellow. Yellow. Oh. You better yellow red. Oh. <laughs> still 4,000, though. 6,000. And the spoon is I use it. <laughs> no, Din, Din, not a breakfast spoon. Are, what other spoon are there? No, yeah, no, a fishing spoon, is, it's, it's kind of like you cut the tip off of a spoon. There's a tiny hiccup. Okay, well, let's hopefully, let me know if, if I become unhearable. Um, but yeah, so it's like you cut off the end of a spoon, it's just like a curved piece of metal. And as you drag it through the water, it just swings, because it's, it's, it's curved. And that action, like it dances a lot, that will really get the attention of a fish. It's a really good lure. So that's, that's, but that's just a spoon. A spoon plug was like this totally different older lure where it was like, oh, how do I describe this? It was like a V, like you took a spoon as normal, then you bent it into a V like that. So then instead of, ooh, instead of swinging, it like vibrated. So it wasn't like a gentle like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. It was <laughs> 
<laughs> like that. And um, but then also it had this this uh, metal piece in the front that was angled down. So as the water hit it, it would force the lure to go down. So even though you're reeling faster, it doesn't come up like most lures did. It actually would get pushed back down. So you could fish it really quickly. And, um, and then you could keep it down under the water and I'd get it down to deeper fish. And I'm like, ooh, this is new, I'll try that. And uh, my dad was like, oh, we've never used these before. They're really different. They're like a lure that was used like 50, oh no, 70 years ago. <laughs> that like fell out of style. I didn't really catch on. I, oh, <laughs> I got something on a big spoon though. I wonder what that's gonna be. No, oh, but anyway. Oh, right, I wanna get a sturgeon. <laughs> someday, someday. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, but, but yeah, so we're, we're, so the thing is, it's, it's a deep diving lure, right? It's meant to go down. I it, forgot. It, it do go down? It do go down, but I forgot it go down. Is the problem. <laughs> So oh, no. we were just drifting along, and like I was fishing it deep, but I just we were talking, and I got distracted, and I cast it. I cast it right next to shore, and the thing was gonna go immediately down and like snag everything at the bottom, and probably get like hooked on a log, and then we had like how are we gonna get this out? It's so deep, you can't really unhook the lure. You're gonna lose it. Well, so the moment that I cast it out, it goes down. But then a bass comes up and grabs it and like <laughs> saves me. He's like, no! And it was a big one too. So that meant that I got to get this super big, nice fish on this lure that my dad wanted to talk about as part of the show. So it, it made great content. It was a great, it was a great uh, fish to show off. It we was just a don't great... talk about your mistake. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, we don't talk about the mistake on there. We don't need to talk about that one. Well, no. So here's the thing. It actually tied into an old story about little old me uh, when I was also a little littler. <laughs> um, you you so, were a littler? A little, a little littler. Well, because there, there's two you different have, kinds. You had no, I'm not that short, man. <laughs> I'm the same height as Napoleon Bonaparte. Actually, the same height. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> People were just shorter back then. Uh, but uh, I just find it funny how, like, just. You could easily said just you're just taller than everyone because statistically I am. Yeah. I said go for I'm the same height as Napoleon Dynamite. No, bone bone apart. <laughs> <laughs> so same height as Napoleon Bonaparte. And uh, you know, a, a notoriously short famous person. Anyway. Mm -hmm. So no yeah, so when I was a tiny boy, a small child, there are two different kinds of hooks. There's a single hook that's just, you know, the usual fishing hook. There's also one called the treble hook. Which is basically you take three of those hooks and you face them away into their nice little triangular pattern, and that way it's harder to miss the fish. Like this lure, if I can get it back into the boat, has a hey! Ooh, it's a big fish. Okay, so this, this is the treble hook. And the uh, this way we done there, the boat. Ooh, ten dollar even, nice. So you can imagine, say if you cast these into the weeds, maybe perhaps you could more easily snag like, you know, lily pads and stuff. Like, it's not a good idea to cast these into the weeds. So as a child, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> I would just cast it into these, like, these giant water lily pads. And Why? I would just keep, because you know what? It worked. <laughs> I okay. got fish. It actually, like, functioned. And, uh, I, don't, well, I don't know how well, I people that. didn't like go, hey, could you stop that? And then you're like, but it worked this one time. They're probably <laughs> going to work every time. No, I mean, there was definitely some points because I would usually take care of my own weeds. Like, I would be up in the front of the boat, like tired. Like, <laughs> I'm not getting any fish as I pick off like my 20th lily pad off of my, my lure. So, but it would work that way. So here I am with a super deep, like, and this thing is a, a longer lure. It has two sets of treble hooks. There are six hooks on this thing. And here I am constantly forgetting and throwing it into the shallow water. <laughs> I never got it snagged, but it's like uh, my, the lure never worked for my dad. And he's like, huh, maybe this lure is meant for people like you <laughs> who, just, <laughs> who just throw out, right? 
Ah, I got this trash. I feel my telekinetic powers tell me I have a ring. Um, yeah, so, but it was just really funny. And I actually ended up getting like, oh no, it's a pocket watch. Um, I ended up getting five fish on it. Like I actually got a big pike on there as one, which is that's great. Cause that's actually what we're supposed to be going for up there. Uh, I got, yeah, I got two pike and I, also, I got, I got a perch. Like, okay. This, this relatively is about the same size as the spoon plug. Like this is, it would be an extra hook hanging about halfway up like that. I caught a perch that was like two thirds the size of this lure from tip to hook. Somehow he got his mouth and the hooks are big like this. He got his mouth over it. And like, I just thought I hooked a weed. Like, oh no, tiny me strikes again. <laughs> And I pull in this tiny fish and boom, 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 <laughs> out of the water. Thankfully, he was not harmed during this. He got it in the side of the mouth. So he went back in there. He was all happy. But, oh, my God. It's really funny, too, because perch um, are so small. They will attack lures like that all the time. But you'd think that if they're hitting a lure they can't fit in their mouth and you, you want to catch a fish, it's been a little while, you'd put on a smaller lure, right? Something with smaller hooks that they could fit into their mouth. But they don't, oh God, this is a They don't, the perch don't bite the smaller lures. And we're figuring they don't want to eat the lures. They're just angry little fish. And they just, they feel threatened by this like this this invader in their turf so they're trying to nip the lure to get it to swim away like get out of here you're not welcome here what are you trying to do here <laughs> so to get to get these tiny fish you can't fish this tiny tiny lures oh my god and uh, oh that was just a, a whole tug of war with these angry little uh like, fuck you, fuck you, this is my day, I don't want to do that. Little gremlin fish. Birch just wants to fight. Yes, basically. Um, oh, what is it though, what is it? Um, 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 um. Oh, but what's interesting though, because I was talking about small lures. So, if you, if you go fishing in the spring and in the fall, there's actually two different like, entire mindsets you have to have because in the spring, you don't want to fish a big lure. Because that, like in the fall, they're trying to fatten up. They want big morsels to build up and survive the winter. In the spring, they want little things to build up the fat that they lost over the winter. So you want to send out small things and you end up getting bigger fish because that's just what their mind is keyed in on. But man, I started calling this caveman brain. It was incredibly hard to fight caveman brain saying, oh, Use big lure, get big fish. <laughs> so I would... What is that? Is there just a fish there on the surface? You okay? I'm sure he's fine. Anyway, hey, got the fish. Uh, so it was... <laughs> what is it? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So... Let's say a, a normal lure is this big. This is a little bigger, but this is kind of like a size example. So this is like the size of lure you want to, to use in the fall. I bought these tiny sunfish lures that are meant to catch tiny baby, easy to catch, like sunfish, panfish, little guys, little little uh, frying pan shaped fish. And um, so I'm throwing that when the fish aren't biting, and that gets you a little fish and kind of encourages you to to, to keep fishing because you got something. It's great. The, the, just to pick up little guys. But the big fish that I thought would bite this one were biting this one. But the problem is that this lure is not meant to get the big fish. It's a little tiny lure with thin, a thin small hook, very bendable blades on it. And I'm like, no, no. <laughs> so they would bite this. And the worst part of it is that this is a lure. This this little tiny sunfish lure is actually a tradition, like my favorite lure for when I was the wee baby. Cause it was like, if nothing was biting, I could get something on the sunfish lure. And I hunted them for years. Like I couldn't find them anywhere. They're an old lure, no one makes them anymore. And like they would be on Amazon every once in a while and be like, 
I sold out, don't know when we're getting it back. I checked it for years. Finally, last year, I finally find them. And I buy all 10 of them. I bought the entire stock of this lure to have them. And, um, but unfortunately, when I, mm, what is it? There's a ring. Uh, but, so I finally have this one. So I don't want to lose these precious lures that I finally got back. And here I am. It's a tin can. It's, uh, so I'm trying not to lose him to the big fish. But it's like the lure that's working this year. So here I am in this video, like, like showing this tiny, tiny lure, catching these, like, arm length. Well, I mean, I have Rayman hands right now at the moment, but you get it. Like, here to here, big, big, bigly fish. And it's like, huh, I guess I have to fight caveman brain to, uh, to try to figure that out. So, okay, but, but, okay. I think there's only one of the two stories. What was the other story, actually? Where, where am I? It is, uh, oh, right, okay. <clears throat> we had a lot of technology with us this trip. A lot of GoPro stuff, try to keep the phones charged, we could record video with the, with the phones. So obviously we need to have ways to recharge the technology, right? So, I mean, we, my dad already gotten into using solar panels to uh, actually uh, like try to help recharge the, the battery to help run the trolling motor in the front, like a little electric motor that kind of helps you guide along and steer through the wind so you don't have to use gas <laughs> to use the big engine in the back. So yeah, we use solar panel on the top, feeds back the battery, engine's happy, solar panel's great. Um, so we were, uh, we were fishing around and going through and there was already kind of fire alarms going off on Canada because yeah. of all that campfire stuff. So suddenly we smelled smoke. We're like, man, I didn't think there's gonna be any smoke today. We look in the back of the boat and one of the solar panels is just smoking. And we're like, whoa! My <laughs> dad has to run down. Like they have like j tiny jumper cable style clamps on a car battery underneath the, uh, like, like a regular boat battery. This is very common. This is not like a jerry rig thing. Like, this is very common to do. But so he has to like reach down through the smoking solar panel. It's just the, it's just the cable that connects to the square that is a solar panel. It's just smoking right here. He's like, no, he takes it off. But my dad looks at me and he's like, Man, this YouTube thing's getting to me. Like, I almost tried to record the smoke instead of stopping the fire. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, no, probably good to, uh, you know, not, not let the boat catch on fire because that might not be the kind of content we want to put out on YouTube. Welcome to our final uh, Canada trip because we don't have a boat anymore. <laughs> We uh, and we're getting sued and hunted. Yeah, we're getting sued. No, no. Yeah, now, now I was like, no, there's a fire ban. Like, listen, we didn't know the solar panel was going to explode. <laughs> so that was a new thing. But I mean, it was a solar panel that was also like 10 years old. So, oh, there's a fish. I think. Oh, wait, I see that bobber. My telekinetic powers tell me. Perhaps this is this might be a ring this time, or am I canning it again? Oh no, nope, no, nope, it's a can. Aha! Uh -huh. yeah, so thankfully that was the only only problem there. But uh, that does lead to another story. Um. Oh God! Why does this continue? Well, well, I mean, this is just we're we're on day four of seven. <laughs> oh, can I put this on here? No. Okay. Uh. Goodbye. Anyway, yeah, so that that's going on. And yes, yeah, so we really had to worry about how to keep things charged. Cause, ah, boy. Well, back when I made the reservation, there was no GoPro thing happening. There was no, none of this talk of bringing all this technology. So there are electric like campsites that have these generators you can have that'll charge your stuff. But we didn't need that. I didn't even think about it. So we just have a basic campsite. And we, I did think though, during the kerfuffle, like, oh, our campsite's too small, we need a different one. Sadly, none of the ones that were electric were open. Cause obviously those are more popular than the ones that don't have electric. Oh, a rock. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> yeah, so, 
we had to find ways, like through solar and other stuff, to try to keep everything charged. My dad did bring like a lot of like large boat batteries uh, in the boat to help keep things charged on there. And what he would do is use his car to uh, keep the stuff charged too. And just every once in a while, turn on the car so the battery wouldn't die. That was a great system. As long as he didn't forget to turn on Nothing the car, uh, you know, he just let it run without being able to charge the battery, but mm -hmm. <laughs> it never happened. Like, maybe we're having People trouble getting the, the... Yeah, maybe the gas stove wasn't lighting one night and we were hungry trying to cook burgers, and we're like, hey, when was the last time you started the car? <laughs> so, uh... Daring to say, the car was dead, but now, I mean, <laughs> thankfully, we are now, like, this is now the benefit of being in a campsite surrounded by people, is that now we can actually, like, get help. <laughs> We're not stranded out on our, our secluded island trying to get things to work. And so, uh, this campsite is so not road-friendly. Like, everywhere you want to go is a loop. So it's like, do 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 So he, my dad walks like 20 steps from the campsite, boop, 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 to Slammy McDoor bathroom place. And there's somebody there. And they show up. <laughs> and he's like, hey, my car's dead. Could, could I get a jump from you? He's like, oh, yeah, sure. Let me go get my car. So this, this stranger, who doesn't work at the park or anything, just, just walks away. But then he... It took like a half hour to get to the campsite. We knew he was right here because he got he got lost in the loops <laughs> trying to get back to where we were. <laughs> so I was just sitting there, and again, it's that same thing that like Zen trying not to let the stress get to you, get to you. Ah, oh, nope, nope. Come here. Um, it's so. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I don't know any of this. I actually went out and I was getting a shower at this point. He's trying to get this all situated. There's a ring. Uh, so the guy shows up in his car to help uh, to help jump the car. And apparently, since he's bought this car, which we never learned how how long that uh, <laughs> he can use the boat battery to charge the car. Well, the boat battery was actually far away. Our backup plan was to have to walk out to the boat and then like. <laughs> carry the battery back to the car so that, that would have been a pretty hefty walk to carry that but that was a backup plan but yeah, yeah but no we got the guy to show up he had his car but he had never jumped anybody and apparently in this car they didn't mark on the battery which side was positive and which side was negative oh no so no we the, the car was fine he was just understandably nervous to just try oh, it. Yeah, yeah. So true. we're like, you know what? Yeah, no, that's fine. That's super cool. Uh, so yeah, we're trying to get that to work, and uh, it's like, all right. Well, thank you for trying to help. Uh, good luck. He's like, what am I gonna do? What happens if I need a job? Like, oh, well, go find your car manual, I guess, man. Good luck to you. <laughs> like, uh, we we we're, we're not hieroglyphic readers. We don't know how to like read your car, wait. Garbage. <laughs> These treble hooks are really, uh, we're doing their work to get the, uh, stuff out. Ooh, a pocket to watch. Okay. Uh, but what was I going to say? Ah, yes, yes, yes. So while this is happening, uh, a ranger does drive by. And, uh, he, uh, no, she, uh, sees that uh, they're trying to jump the car. And they go, do you need any help? And like, yeah, yeah, we, we can't get this guy's car to work for jumping the car. Like, can we use your car? And like, well... Uh, we don't really use our cars to jump, like our trucks to jump it. What we do carry is these battery packs in our car <laughs> that have these cables in it. The, 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 there's like a regular battery pack, and then it has the jumper car cables that connect to the end, and it connects to the uh, the battery, and you can uh, connect to your car battery, and then you can jump it. It's, it's really powerful and great. Does this sound familiar to you, Sats, by the way? Does it sound familiar at all? It should. Hmm. Hmm. Like maybe, maybe there's someone around. I can't think of who. Maybe, hey, hey, oh. uh, maybe somebody you know that owns one of these. <laughs> Mayhaps. 
So, so my dad's sheepishly trying not to get this lady to not look in his car because the, the, the uh -huh. battery that we have been charging the GoPro with and letting it run on it uh -huh. is that car battery. It's a really good battery as well as being able to jumpstart a car. Well, guess what part my dad didn't bring? Oh, no. Because <laughs> he, he's, he's, ah! <laughs> he, he was just had the mind of it's going to run the GoPro. We don't need to bring the jumper cable part. <laughs> and he was laughing, too, because he was using the car to charge that battery, which means that it probably also didn't have the juice needed to jump the car anyway. So he would have been stuck even if he had the cable. <laughs> so, yeah, so he's trying not to get this lady to notice. Like, oh, hey, you've got one of these car batteries in your car. You can jump your car. Well, uh, funny about that. <laughs> so doing that one. Hey, uh, we're being visited in the music by uh, Woodman. Yeah. 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 yeah, Woodman's hanging out there. <laughs> I want to kill Woodman. Did he show up in I, Ocarina? You see, I've been waiting for whenever you're done with your story so I can show you or tell you. Well, we're at the halfway point. Go, ha take an intermission. Take an intermission line. <laughs> Go ahead. So, uh, well, this is going to be intermission to our current Ocarina of Time randomizer. Or does he show up? Oh, he does randomizer. show up in the forest. That's right. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. He's a lovely little fellow. He even like he hangs out with you if you give him a or if we play songs with him. Right. He uh, also like gives an item if you show him a mask. Okay, that sounds super simple. How did he's a pain go? in the ass if you don't have an ocarina? Oh. Oh, oh fish. So uh, we have now done three of these streams. Of the same world? The same run? Yes. Okay, okay. You're still trying to beat it. Same run. We're still trying to beat it. But uh, those are Deku's drops. No, I'm, t I'm talking about the, the uh, uh, Skull Kids. Skull Kid, yes. Or In like the, the lot, whatever. It, yeah. We, we all are thinking like the, that is the one that is the Skull yeah, Kid. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah. Uh, essentially, what then happened was... Uh, Water got uh, their uh, ocarina pretty early on. Oh, that's good. Uh, part of masking, yes. And uh, then we uh, Water was able to do a lot of stuff, but the main thing is I got Celis Lullaby pretty early, which is that you needed for a lot of things in that game. Yes, I remember you getting that when I was there. That's right. Yeah, but I didn't find the ocarina. You remember? Oh, and you still don't uh, have it. So. On the second stream, me and Luna decided to go, oh, okay, where are our ocarinas? Yes. And we find out that Luna's ocarina is needed for me fishing as an adult. You fishing as an adult? Okay. Yeah, in Ocarina of Time. Oh, which uh, means you need to go to Lake Hylia. We assumed you needed to fill the lake right. by beating okay. the, uh, the water temple. Right. And then go up there and fish and you would get a reward. Okay. And that would then be Lunar's Ocarina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, I look up, where's my Ocarina? Well, mm. my Ocarina is in is in Lunar's Fire Temple. Oh. oh. But to get to that place in the Fire Temple, need Lunar the needs the, the Ocarina. To oh. So you have to get Lunar's Ocarina to get you, or to get Lunar to where you can get your Ocarina. Mm-hmm. Oh. But, but then we also realize adverts, wait, there are two ocarinas in the game. They only told us where one of our ocarinas are. Oh, do both of them work? Uh, both of them would work. It's essentially like a, either ocarina would give you the same ocarina. Oh, okay. Because you great, first great. get Sarius ocarina, and then you get the ocarina of time. So mm -hmm. you can essentially just get two ocarinas. But they, they, they have to they count the song, even though it's not a magic ocarina. Mm -hmm. they, it still oh, counts. Okay. Take a drink of, of the, the nectar of the gods here. Okay. But, but yeah, so uh, we think, oh, that's fine. We'll just, uh, we'll keep progressing as normal. Mm -hmm. And then Water goes to Lake Hylia after a plant is being stocked. And okay. it shows, oh, you can get over there. You can go there fishing without needing to actually do anything. Okay. 
So I go and grab Lunar and her Ocarina, mm -hmm. and uh, th there's another problem with the Goron place then, and that's the one you called out correctly. Oh, oh, the tunic. flame tunic. Yes. yes. Which somebody got their flame tunic, didn't they? I did. Oh. Uh, Water and oh. I also have uh, hers. But, okay. Uh, okay. One of the other problems. Yes. Was uh, that then? Lunar Nancy needs, needs to get through. You can do the Fire Temple without the Goron Tunic. It's just harder to do. Because you need to get your health back. Ah, I found the wall. It's a... Uh, f... <laughs> stick stick uh, back. Uh, yes and no. The more health you have, the more time you have in there. Yes. Okay. But uh, when the when the timer is out, you insta-die. Your health doesn't decrease Oh, yeah, there's no time. food. Right, what am I thinking? Yes. That's breath so, of the wild. Well, okay. Yeah. From me still, until tomorrow. <laughs> but, uh, so uh, the problem then arises that I have been the only one to truly get health upgrades. Oh, like they've gotten some containers, but no, oh no, they got some heart pieces, but no containers. I've got several containers. I have like ah. a bar or well, the, the entire line and two more hearts beyond that. Lunar barely has the bar. Oh no. Okay. So you could kind of bum rush this then. Uh, yeah, but I am stuck behind not having an ocarina. Oh. So then we decided to figure out, like, uh, all right, we explore different stuff. Lunar tries to get other stuff done uh, to help Water, because Water is now also getting stuck. Okay. But uh, then uh, I go and find a stone that tells me about where, like, my next objective is. Oh, yeah, there was hint stones. I remember that. Yeah. And then they told me where the other ocarina is. For who? For me. Oh, for you. Okay, so, great. So I'm like, oh, I could maybe get progress. Okay. And they say that that ocarina is in the Goron City. Hmm. Okay. I'm like, oh. Behind the Megaton Hammer, which meant it was in a one specific place where I need the hammer to get in. And I'm like, oh, damn it, I'm stuck again to, until I find the hammer. Oh, and then right, I remembered, right. oh, I have the system where if I ask for an item, they will tell me where it is as well, instead of just oh, randomly finding it. Joku? Uh, kind of. There's another one where, like, if you find 10% of the items, you can, like, okay. get a free check. Like, you can oh, ask, where okay. is it, this specific thing? The, the problem was, ball. it only tell. Yeah. We could say, like, hey, where is the ocarina? And it would only give us one of the locations, not both. Okay. So that was the problem. So I couldn't, like, ask for the other one. But now that I knew where the other one was, I could just need to ask for where the hammer was. Oh. Okay. It wasn't that... Lunar's World again. Okay. And get In the it. final... <laughs> yes! He did! No! <laughs> it's in the final dungeon! Oh, no! Oh, you've got a huge nest to unravel. Okay. Mm -hmm. The thing is, as soon as I get an ocarina, the entire world opens up to me. Oh, but you have to get the hammer to get the tunic to get the ocarina? Uh, no, I need to get a hammer to get the ocarina. Or oh. I need Lunar to uh, get enough health or the tunic to finish the fire temple to then give me the ocarina. Oh. Uh. And I have the quote unquote best songs in the game to have a good shot at beating it. Right, right. Oh, rock. But I just don't have the ability to actually play them. Oh. So, boy, so you have a pretty straightforward path, but a lot of work to get through it. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. So right now I'm just stuck in a place where I have literally nothing to do except for collecting gold skulls with tokens because those apparently had randomized rewards as well. Okay. Like Wander's Gauntlet, and I thought I didn't do that. So sorry, Wander, for that last time. Oh. But now I collected like 20 of them, or in this case, 30. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I need to collect 20 more, and then I am, uh, I don't have anything to do. Okay. As far as Chad knows. Uh Oh, I see. So th things to discuss during next stream. No, yeah, I can actually say this a little right now, just a as tease. a little teaser. Okay. I thought it was for literally every chest that I feasibly could collect in the game. Okay. I missed one chest. Oh. It's in the deck tree. 
Ah, oh, super early on. Is okay. the chest containing the slingshot? For for who? For look, like, that's like, what's supposed oh, to normal, be in that chest. Oh, normal. The normal okay. chest. But that just means there's a chest I haven't even opened oh, in there my that I can't check. That has some whatever. super important item. <laughs> yes. That's why I'm oh. sitting there like, no, no. Oh, come and on, you, no. You're going to want that disappointment because it, it would be even worse if it's just rupees. Yes. <laughs> like, I don't have anywhere else to go. Oh, there's garbage. It's been an event to say the least. Oh, yeah. And also one of the bigger events is fuck the bird. The bird? I have some clips I need to show you later. Okay. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am very behind. Wah. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, let's just say some of these things have been an event, like uh, my Street Fighter journey. Oh yes, I had some some bods of that one. Um, you, you, have you have you seen my character? I saw an ass. <laughs> you see my That's character. That's all I remember. You I saw a picture of an ass. You don't, you don't need anything else. You see my character. Okay, okay, because that, that's all I remember. I'm ch checking my notes, by the way, for for later. But yes, yes. So, yeah. okay, your character is interesting then. Yeah, I saw that at Jay 2023. Well, no, so you did get a bikini. <laughs> you did get a bikini story. I see. No, 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 wait. No, 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 no. But yeah, so I've been having fun with that. I made one fun decision during the character creator, and everyone was like, "Keep it." So now I'm stuck. Oh no. Wait. What now? But yeah, I think can, those I'm are the stories. <laughs> I think those are the stories I have for now that, uh, like, until you want to continue your uh, style. Okay, um, yes, I feel like I really want to tell this next part because this is where it gets a little interesting. There was uh, some uh, situations that occurred. Oh, boy. Yeah, so I said, right, that we were, oh, boy, that we were <laughs> out on the water, like, all day, right? Mm-hmm. We, you do kind of have to come to shore every once in a while for some uh, things that need to happen, you know? It's, it's very important. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just, just things. Yeah, just 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 things. I have no clue what in all these things could possibly no, be at no, all. No, no, no idea, no idea. So say we were, we were, so we found this one cabin that like, it was just constantly empty, had a nice little easy dock to oh, come up no. to, very private. Yeah, so we just kept over the trip, stopping there, and, um... What did you just, do? Well, we were, we, were, we were taking care of the mystery business. Mm -hmm. So, let's say the last time that we stopped there, that uh, we weren't as alone as we thought we were. <laughs> So I was, uh, it was my turn to, uh, situate. And so I just go, go turn around there and it is completely silent up until a door just opens and out comes this girl with headphones on. I'm like, oh, oh no. <laughs> so I had to quick, um, appropriate myself and I'm like, <laughs> what do you say? Mm -hmm. No, oh, yeah, no, no. So there was uh, there was, there was some uh, some some issues that could have occurred during that situation. Um, here's the thing: as far as I know, even though I was blatantly in there, like at the end of their dock, kind of in their yard, I don't think she saw me. I just kind of stood there for a sec and I turned away and and was just waiting for like the hey, who are you? I didn't hear it, so I kept turning. And I have never walked so delicately on a loud ass dock in my life. Like, to tong, to tong. I just walk up, like, I don't even look at my dad. I just walk up, start untying the boat, and say, Someone came out, we gotta go. <laughs> and I just get in the boat, he starts the engine, and away we go. And hey, we got a fish! Um, so. <laughs> Yes, we're doing all of that, and so we're we're there for a good while, like around the little cove that they were the cabin was on, and they were outside talking, and they never looked at us, and they never like acknowledged us. I don't think, even though it was very, 
very, like, possible to see us. They didn't. They have no idea. So I kind of have a slight, like, slightly deeper understanding of how horror movies can happen. Because, like, <laughs> I was right there. I was, I was seeable. I was right. I was probably less than 30 feet away. Sorry, Saps. Uh, less than, the, le- less than say, like, 50 years. steps away from her. And okay. she was, she looked in my direction and never saw me in my bright-ass dragon shirt that, yes, okay. I still wear yes. every day. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. We gotta go. <laughs> So that was a fun situation on there. I'm on there. Probably way too late. Yeah. Well, just a little. So thankfully, no, no, no Canadian kerfuffle of uh, you know, hanging out at the wrong time, doing the wrong thing in somebody's yard where they came outside. <laughs> Whew! Well, that was that woke me up. I'll tell you what. Yes. Understandable. But, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so definitely there were more people around. There were definitely like, a lot more people around in the area. And, boy. Oh, well, yeah. I sort of started thinking there could also be the another explanation. Yes. She saw you and went, ah, oh, fuck, they're at it again. <laughs> as far as we like, there, there was never any boat there. And we didn't think there was a road to that spot. But apparently there was because we don't know how they got to that cabin. <laughs> Or maybe the, like somebody dropped them off and didn't leave a boat with them. That's why we, we thought it was secure. Oh, fuck, it's them again. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Possibly. We just left real quietly. Didn't say a word. Yeah, so that, that all occurred. That, that was all right. But yes, yes, yes. So later that evening, uh, we were out on a different side of the lake. And there was some people who uh, were out. Like, okay, not only does the lake already transfer sound really well, but it gets, like, more and more as it gets darker. Because dark yeah, also transports, transfers sound pretty good. So there was just this, this family hanging outside, like a mom, a dad, and a kid all hanging out outside. And they were at first talking about fishing and their stories, having this lovely conversation. And then eventually, two of, the, two of them, and I never found out, which of the two, but two of them just went at it out of nowhere. And we were not like, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you mean like fighting or? Argument. Verbal okay, argument. Okay. No, no, not even an argument. Like it never, it was just a loud discussion. And we were sitting there hoping that this was like a discussion about a TV show or a movie. They're talking about this case that was never solved, that involved murder and rape, and just and they're just swearing like, no, you don't know. They did this investigation and they found the body dead in the alleyway. And we're, <laughs> so we're just slowly like listening to this, and they're not. We thought they had reached a crescendo. They were slowly just going to relax and calm down. They were not. So we're just kind of drifting away and more away and more away. But we couldn't, because of the lake, we couldn't get far enough away to not hear them. Or maybe they were just getting louder. We don't know, but it was so hard to dodge. We were just swearing at each other for upwards of a half an hour on the same discussion of how somebody has some small detail of the clues of this, like, murder case wrong. Like, they're the detectives trying to solve it. It was so hard, and it was so, it was not even funny to listen to. They were so into it. Mm-hmm. We are like, ah, oh, man. So we got away, we're going through, and my dad and I, we finally get out of your shot. We're joking about, like, n- swearing in nature is so much more pleasant. Like, my parents have a story of how they once came across this beautiful sound in the woods. Absolutely wonderful. They were really curious what it was. They're coming out, like this flute. And uh, so they walk outside. And there's these two blue jay, tiny blue birds, that are just trying to kill each other in the woods. And this, that was the sounds they were making as they were fighting. And they just thought it was so pretty. 
<laughs> so he's like, man, I really prefer it when animals swear over people. That's much more pleasant to hear. I'm like, uh-huh. So evening continues a little longer. And we're, we're coming back. Oh, actually, first, we were getting, we were going farther and farther from the people. We, we actually kind of had to thank them at some point. I caught my biggest pike in a cove that we don't usually go into because we were trying to get away from the swearing. <laughs> so that worked out very well. But anyway, yeah, so we're going home. We're, we're, it's, it's night. We're getting towards the boat dock. We're going to tie up for the night and go to bed to the next day. And out there, there are three loons just, just out there. And um, I'm like, huh, it's really weird to see three of them in the same spot. I guess they're always kind of hanging out. And what they like to do is if they're in like a back cove, they will swim out to the front of the, to the cove so they can sing at each other, making that call that I played before. I want to play that song again, but this fish really doesn't want to come in. But so the, 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 the sound that they make very commonly is very hot, like calming and so, ooh, very, very drawn out. Like a cool little, uh, I don't know, a horn of some kind. And uh, so right as I'm pointing out, like, hey, Dad, look, there's three loons over there. Two of them just go at it. They just <laughs> go, they go, they, they fly swim on top of the water, you know, just boom, and then they're like bumping against and they're pecking each other in the face. And then one of them grabs the other by the neck with their beak and then drags their head under the water. And they just, I'm like, whoa! <laughs> and they were still making those pretty, pretty sounds. But they were trying to drown each other, and the female was just out there watching this happen, like, oh, we'll just see who wins. And they were under the water for a long time, a couple of, we were probably watching them for a couple of minutes. Oh, okay. Did you see that, by the way? What just happened to me? No, I looked away, sorry. Oh, my, my visuals went dark, and they came right oh. back. That's been, that's been a little bit of an issue since I moved, I've been trying to fix. Oh, am I free? No! No, you son of a bitch! I've had you for so long, what do you mean? Uh, it just left. It just left. So anyway, so there's just this huge fight happening. Finally, one of them comes up, probably the one that was getting held under, and starts flying away as fast as it can away. And the other one was not done with it yet. It was chasing after it. <laughs> and we sat there. And we thought, like, you know, we probably could have recorded that, but that's not the, like, pleasant, like, National Geographic uh, footage people probably want to see on YouTube anyway. So, we're like, hey, it's fine. We'll just keep that as a memory. Because <laughs> that was, uh, that was some pretty uh, robust battling they were doing in there. We were actually wondering for a little while if one of them was not going to be uh, around after it. I remember there's a cave. <laughs> I'm gonna go inside. <laughs> but yeah, so, but we, we went away from that altercation. And we're like, you know, you know, Dad, I think you're right. At least when the birds are swearing, it sounds a lot better than the uh, discussion we were hearing before. <laughs> so that worked out pretty good. Yeah, let's see, is that... That's... Day five, yes. Okay, so there's only one day left on that, right, of actual fishing. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So the last day was pretty, pretty usual. Nothing, no, 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 no big uh, fights or anything on that one. <gasps> right? So crazy. But no, so what we did do though, it was, uh, the, sadly, the last day was like the hardest fishing. Which uh. in terms of like trying to get footage was great because we already had a lot of stuff. My dad's already dreading, like we've been fishing all day for five days. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, we, he only turned on the camera when something was happening. So it's not like a all day yeah. recording he has to find the fish for. But there's already so much that he has to do. He's like, all right, well, I guess that's, that's pretty good. So we went back to our favorite island with our favorite uh, bridge. 
Mm -hmm. Because there's this little tiny cove, and in this tiny cove is this, uh, what is it? in the tiny cove, there is a, like a lot of tiny baby fish. So on the first trip that we went up, this was our saving grace because we actually had some really rough days. We didn't know, we'd never been there before, but our first trip ever, like 20 years ago, we had really rough fishing. So my dad would bring me out here with this little floating, a uh, little floating crayfish lure. Do you know what a crayfish is, Saps? No, let okay. me Google. Lobster. <laughs> Ah. Okay, it's a tiny, tiny lobster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah more, yeah. more, much more palm-sized. So we have a little, but it floats in the top. It's kind of like bobber fishing, but it uh, there's no worm involved. They're just really interested in this thing that's on the surface. I thought it was how pretty it was in here. Oh, good music for this part too. Anyway, <laughs> the animal equivalent of swirlies. Yeah, basically. Um, you know what? I have this. I think this is meant for the. Cave creatures, so maybe I can use this in here. Uh, but yes, yes. Somebody had that. Oh, okay, we'll go out to there and we'll get a video of us going out to that spot and catching little, lots, lots of little guys. And that, uh, that was gonna work out. We actually did pretty well. We went out there with this, this rod. But so, this little tiny crayfish, which is by, probably about the, the size of the tip of my VR pointer finger. It's very tiny. And we fish with metal leaders because the pike have big mouths and I'm not they can cut the line. So the weight of the metal line, leader, that's this line, oh hey. The weight of that weighs down the crayfish. So we have to use a lighter line with no metal leader on it to have the little fish on. Uh, so, my dad's out there talking about catching all these little tiny fish and having fun with that. And then suddenly, a bigger fish came up. <laughs> which thankfully was a bass, which is uh, like a big mouth, not very big teeth guy. Like, a m much more normal fish to catch. And, um, but the problem was is that this lure isn't really made much anymore. So he really wanted to keep it, no, not to have this guy. And now he went from having this really strong braided line that a big fish could not break to having this, like the mono, like the usual like plastic looking clear line that could only stand five pounds instead of 15 pounds. <laughs> so he's having a baby in this little fish. He's like, oh God, he's recording this one. He's like, oh, please don't break the line. And he also, oh, right, right, right. He's trying to show not only his old lures and things, but also his old rod. <laughs> his old little rod that's meant to catch these little tiny fish. So he's trying to baby his equipment. Like, no, no, this is not who was supposed to bite on this. <laughs> so thankfully he got it in, but that was definitely the most harrowing of uh, things out there. But with it being rougher fishing, we thought that was going to be kind of like the highlight of the day was just to go out to our old, like, save the trip spot because there's like a lot of little fish that bite really easy. Oh, it's raining in the hole. We need a new hole. Um, but we actually did get a nice run of bass at the end. But, uh, oh boy, we've been fishing like eight hours every day, probably. Eight to ten. Actually, I think probably 10 in each day, if I think about it. And the last day, we were out there for 12 hours, uh, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And uh, so, needless to say, our backs were a little uh, sore from casting <laughs> and reeling. Yeah. So we were actually, in a way, kind of like, you know, maybe my back's appreciating the break from catching fish. <laughs> but then, lo and behold, right before we're done, that is when, instead of getting a big pike run that we're hoping for, we got a big run on big, heavy bass. Which, in a lot of ways, because they're not as long as pike are, they're more chunky. They are the footballs of the water. There we go. Ooh. This, uh... This is not the fish. This is meal. That's all right. <laughs> and I'm on there. And... Money. Okay. Okay, anybody in the cave want to eat this, like, chunk of meat? It's just been kind of sitting here. <laughs> so it was kind of fun on the very last day of the trip that we were just, like, uh... 
Oh no. Like we, our break is not going to hold and we, we got our big thing of fish, which is great, but ow, we ate fish and ow. <laughs> so that all worked out from there. But yeah, yeah, I think from there it was pretty easy. Like we, we went to the end of the trip. We were on Saturday again. So a lot of people were showing up and it got louder. Oh, Sam. Uh-oh. <laughs> We were standing around the picnic table, we were cooking burgers, and people were showing up, and there was a bunch of, like, 20-year-old people out there. And I'm just sitting out there, cooking, flipping the burger, having a great time, really. And then somebody when suddenly... was... Somebody over in the campsite over there, like, somebody drops something, somebody just goes, Oh, man, Lindy, you are... You're hit... You're about... Like, you're, like, already over 30. <laughs> You're already dropping stuff. You're getting so old. And like she wasn't, but they're like exaggerating how old she was. But I was mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm just like kneel down, like oh, no, you can't do this. Psychic like damage. Young... Ah, my heart. <laughs> oh man. And so they, they were out there for a while, and there was a group of them on this side. And there's a group on, on that side. I'm actually really was happy to see that they were coming out camping. Like you think that camping would be less popular nowadays. So it's cool to see people still going out to do it. But like, I'm trying to go to bed. I'm doing the last thing I, I said, mm -hmm. we're putting the hand, the, the, the hand in the pillow, and like, the other one on yeah. my head. <laughs> and, but somebody was listening to like rap music, which is a new experience for me. Laying out in my tents in the woods. Just, doof, 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 doof. <laughs> I wanted, because like, I have like my, my fisherman, like cowboy hat, style hat with me i have like this jacket i look much more rugged out there i've got like the the, the, the bin out yeah. in the woods a while beard and crazy hair i wanted to go out there in the dark and i wanted to use my old man voice in the dark <laughs> go hey you kids what are you doing over there i listen i might be a little older than the other guys but like you know i'm still having happening with the coolio kidlios and like your beans be slamming they be bapping but like, I don't want to hear <laughs> I was thinking of this whole skit just laying there. And thankfully, through thinking of it, I fell asleep. <laughs> but I really kind of wish I did that. Because I really would have loved to do that. Go outside. Like, yeah. Oh, man. What, what, was my, what was my big joke? Crap. I had this whole thing. You had a joke? Yeah. Oh, what was it? So I'm like, oh, my joints may be cramping, but I can still cringe with the best of them. <laughs> like, oh, it's just some, something along those lines. But but here's the thing, is that my dad has not seen me do that voice before. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, but not, not really a thing that I do outside of streaming. So I was just trying to lay there, like, what would, what would his thoughts be of me trying to do this? To, like, try to get them to stop playing the loud music at, like, almost midnight. <laughs> like, please go to bed. <laughs> but not, like, you know, not harsh there. I don't want to harsh your mellow. I don't want to saturate your vibes. But, like, if you could turn that down. <laughs> oh, God. I, I did not have to do it, but I kind of wish I did at this point. It would be really funny <laughs> to do that. <laughs> like, actually have uh, it over. And if I did it, like, correctly in the dark, would they actually know I was not old? <laughs> like, could I, pa could I pass as an old man? Can I do it? Don't you say a word, <laughs> dude. Oh, well, all sure, right, Grandpa Jay, if you're self -con. shut up, get that. <laughs> anyway. Man, no one wants this chunk of meat. But, uh... All people want these days are cake. What's that? All people want these days are cake. Cake? Why would they want cake? Oh, oh, oh. Is that, have I told you about little. Demon World? Who? Oh, so, okay, my dad has watched a lot of different videos, right, on the YouTube. He found this one, and it was this really funny guy from Japan who came to America, and he went fishing in a, an American-like tackle shop, and he was just blown away, like, going into, like, a Bass Pro Shops, and just how many things people could have for catching fish. And I was like, what in the world? So, but he found himself buying a lot of things. Like, a lot of stuff looked cool. So he would always walk out with more stuff than he wanted. And he's like, oh, no. 
I have been taken by demon world. <laughs> I have, um, I have succumbed to the temptation. There are demons inside of this shop that get me to spend my money that I didn't want to spend. <laughs> <laughs> and he kept saying that throughout the video. Oh, he was such a fun guy on the on the video on there. But now every time that uh, that we go like shopping after a fishing trip, we get fishing lures. Like, oh no, Demon World, we're trying to get some. Because we've actually been talking about like we don't really need lures anymore. We have enough. And now I could like save the money to like, you know, uh, yeah, buy him random things. Oh, you know what? And, uh, no! Ah, just reach Okay. I think this works. But, uh... But somehow, through this one, we were like, Oh yeah, we won't even need to buy anything. We still did. We still did. We were like, oh no. Demon world. Okay, not... No, oh, I thought I could. Good sandwich, anyway. How much money do I have? <gasps> oh... I guess I've been fishing for a while, huh? Just a little. <laughs> Just a little. We're going over a thousand. Uh, ooh, hallelujah. Ooh, shiny. Prismatic. Ooh, very nice. I would buy this lure. No, no, no. Demon world. No, I can't. <laughs> Resist. No, no, no. But we came back. Did anything happen during that trip? <laughs> I don't think anything. It was a hailstorm. So no, no, I think that's it. I think I'm at the it end. hailed for real? What? Yeah, yeah, there was this huge, uh, there was this huge storm. We were in the car driving, and it was just like this, like, random, like, the sky, it was like 75 okay. degrees, and the sky just let loose, and it immediately dropped to, like, 55, and, like, hail pelted the our windshield for, like, a couple minutes, and then it was just gone, Wait. and then the temperature went back up to 76. Wait, what did you say, like, when it was hailing? When we were in the car driving home. Yeah, but when, when what was the temperature when it suddenly started hailing? Oh, when it when it first started, like before, it was getting up to like seventy-five degrees. Yeah, that's what I caught. Did you say that it dropped again? Yeah, you know, you know, it it dropped during the storm. Like it just went way. It went from seventy-five down to like fifty, like fifty something, fifty-seven, and then once the storm passed, it went ah. up again. It was such a weird Wait. little like storm front. But even right. 57 wouldn't be enough for it to be hailing. Normally. Normally, right. Yeah, no, but that's, it just came out of, and it was not big hail. It was like pea size. oh, oh, fish. pea size hail. Yeah, but still. Okay, is this another thing of like, uh, uh, the uh, terminology is different in country? Is hail like the smallest snow pellets, right? Yeah, tiny, tiny snow pellets. Okay, okay. okay. Like someone took a bag of peas and dumped it on the sun, the even smaller than peas, like sand. Like you could just yeah. barely see the uh, pellets in the rain. Yeah, I, I know it doesn't melt instantly, but like that's still a massive temperature difference. Yeah, it was. You're like, here. whoa, what just happened? Like maybe that's part of the whole storm system that was blowing the smoke down from Canada. We're not sure. It was a weird, like out of nowhere thing. Maybe yeah, it was being haunted like by Demon somewhere. World. But, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh... Can we trade weather? Today has been the hottest way day here this year so oh, far. Oh, really? Oh, jeez. Yeah. You know, it's, it's been way hot. Hold on, let me just Google real quick. About 75 degrees today. Oh. Yeah, it's about 75 here as well. No, yeah, no, I don't I'm, think well, we can trade today. Well, I can send I that say, storm like, your way. That, yeah, send it my way. I mean, like, 75 is the hottest day this year. Like, it's we haven't had it hotter this year, and most likely won't. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, it could really cool down for you. That's it that. 75 is the key, but how do you live? Like 75, yeah, that's pretty warm. I mean, when it gets like... Uh, I'm trying to keep 80. it at around 60. Yeah, 60 is a very comfortable temperature for me as well. Yeah, hold on. 50 to 60. Speaking of, I need to punch down my door. What? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
know. What time is it? 4.47? Uh, okay. Yeah, around that. Yeah, I gotcha, gotcha. I'm gonna turn it on the air conditioner. I'm gonna be right back. Oh, oh. Oh, I forgot about that goose parade. <laughs> it's not it's nothing special. Like, a bunch of Canada geese flew one by and, like, this huge... Like a bunch of like mothers and baby geese are floating or floating by, and they were we were watching a bunch of uh, of them go, and it was really cool. It was just a, a neat way because it was like the final shot of the with the GoPro for the for the uh, YouTube videos, and um, the the name that my dad gave the pontoon boat that he made was the Canada Goose. So it was just really cool to have that cool little uh, bookend at the end there. Because we were kind of getting greedy at the end. Like, oh, maybe the last thing we'll catch is a super big pike to end it on. Like, ah, great. But no, it was cool. We got to end it on this little, like, uh, this, this, this trek. And the, the, the geese would go up on the shore, walk through the trees, come back down on the shore. So they weren't even just, like, swimming by. It was this cool little, like, action shots. And getting in and out of the water. So, yeah, so hopefully that turns out well. I don't know. Like I said, I, I did my best not to be self-conscious in front of the camera. I'm going to hate watching myself in these videos. Oh, I hope I did okay. So actually worried about this one. And now it's like going to be documented on my dad's on my dad's YouTube channel. Still not used to saying that. It's going to be a totally different experience. How are we doing in here? So who's going to edit all that footage? My dad is. My dad's going hard into it. Now, unfortunately, part, like one of the recordings he tested to listen to, there was like, the mic wasn't working, it was popping. So now he's sitting downstairs, he's super worried. How many times was the mic malfunctioning? It could just be that one, there could be multiple. He won't know until he goes through it, but he's just so not used to technology and all the problems. It's really gonna take the wind out of his sails, out of the, out of the especially if it happened to a big fish. So I am, I am waiting for that the news on that one. Hopefully tomorrow I will know if uh, there are a bunch of videos like that one. Oh, did I get the fish? Ooh. Are you, oh, nope. <laughs> doctor, no. The doctor, come no. back, please. CPR, doctor. Oh, he's dead, Chip. Oh. There we are. Uh, no, not you. You don't. You don't catch anything. No, not you. This one. See ya. Figure it yeah. out. Yeah. Oh yeah. Huh? So I think that's about it. I am tempted because there's a little bit of time. <laughs> oh no. To do a couple other games. I mean, this is this is working. This has actually been a great test stream to see if I've I've wanted to do Beat Saber a couple of times, but yeah. it's like. It's so much setup to do, and I'm really worried about pushing my computer. Oh, God. Like, it was going to be a rough time to do it, so I just kept putting it off and putting it off. And like now I'm like, well, maybe I could try it. This is like a little mini thing to see if it's going to work okay. Though I'm not recording, so I can't just flip the recording. I'll have to see if maybe it's the, the format that I am uh, recording in. If I do MP4, maybe they'll be... Uh, that will let me record and do VR at the same time. I don't know. I am pushing my computer like the hardest doing VR streams, so it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. So hi, Dutchie. Ooh, hey. Oh, oh good. Hey, Dutchie. How's it going? Good to see you. Uh, glad you had fun with. Yeah. Oh crap. What was that? What was the old video? Oh yeah, you watched the deer poop story. How you doing? <laughs> you uh, enjoy that oh. one. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Uh, real quick, I just publish, and now all of the uh, Street Fighter mods are up. And oh, public. thank you, thank you. Yeah, no, the previous one was just stock and processing hell. Oh, yeah, that's been happening a lot lately. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, luckily we haven't had that much of an issue with it. That's good. But uh, it, it became better. Was it a little <laughs> bit funny, <laughs> though? Hey, uh, was, it, <laughs> was it one thing that funny that I saw happen yesterday? You went for seven hours yesterday? I did, true. <laughs> but, uh, uh, on our latest uh, Ocarina of Time randomizer VOD, we did a comment asking, like, did you just guys give up on Pokemon Infinite Fusion? They're just like, I saw Give that comment! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> He's done that twice, actually. I forgot to reply to him the first time. Oh. I yeah. didn't see it because. Oh, wait, yeah, no, no, I think I did reply to him. I said, no, we'll, we'll get back to it soon. Mm. Nice thing yeah, he's really excited I for it, though. Yeah. I've been opening the, uh, like, Creator Studio, but I don't know if the way I open it, I don't see the notifications. 
Oh, like, no, I usually find comments much more logging into the channel normally, and I see the bell. You know, that's the thing, I just opened directly into the studio, so I don't think uh... I see the bell. Yeah, the bell is not shown in studio. You have to actually click on the comments section for it. And I think yeah, YouTube weird. does actually, like, I see it with my questions on my Pokemon tutorials. YouTube sometimes just doesn't notify you of a comment. And I'm like, oh no, there was this question I never answered from like a year ago. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. <laughs> he had a chance to stop, but simply chose not to. I mean, streaming fun. Oh God. Eesh. Oh. <laughs> I now see a comment here of someone just going, uh, looking at the length of the video, and my brain just went, so we're in for a time. With my <laughs> first, second video of the Tears of the Kingdom being seven hours. Oh. Oh, yeah, you probably saw in the, uh, <laughs> in the schedule that I'm going to have three episodes of Tears of the Kingdom. I just didn't want to have the first one be super long of mine. Yeah. So I'm going to starting at noon. So. Yes, I'm starting at noon. I'm going to go to 10. I'm going to stop in the middle for dinner. But I wanted to, I wanted to try to cut it, like, once the initial area. Like, I'm assuming I'm still fairly blind. The only thing I know about Tears of the Kingdom... <laughs> you know, the only thing I know... You know, which I not mentioned the, the thing that I know? Is it just no, 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 I was joking. I was joking. Oh, no, oh, oh, no the only thing I know is that apparently you can put your hood down. Apparently. But I, I, I stopped the YouTube short before it told me how. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is really funny. The yeah. one spoiler I got is about a hood. And the funniest thing is, all of the ones that he was talking to bear, oh, yeah! are, have essentially completed the game and had no clue. Yeah, existed. you guys hadn't found them. Like, it's a secret thing. You can put the hood down? That seems like an option you could do in a menu. Well, what, when once you get there, we can tell you how to do it. Uh -huh. But... Uh, it's like, it's not a thing that's like you would think about. Yeah. But, uh, yes. yeah, you've been relative spoiler free, so. Yeah! I mean, especially we easy when you have no signal in Canada. But yeah. We have kind of revealed to Jay, like, very minorly, that there is a tutorial in the game. The game oh, has yeah, a tutorial. Yeah, yeah. But we haven't said anything about, like, how intensive how it, is. it is. Just, we Lunar just gave it a rough estimate about how fast everyone was, and of course, me being the door the Norway's best gamer, <laughs> did it the fastest. <laughs> and me being America's worst gamer, I will be the slowest. I will sure. I will spend the entire stream there, it'll never get split. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my uh, my thought process problem when I was doing that was because I was the last one of the crew to actually start the game. So oh, I thought yeah. in my mind, I was like, yeah, well, you know, except for you. Mm-hmm. But uh, in my mind was like, yeah, oh, I'll just get through this fast. I'll uh, right. like, I I was already tired that day. It was late in the day. I'd been busy. I didn't I didn't have the energy to stream for that long. Mm -hmm. So it's like I'll just see how fast I can get through this area. Oh, stretch. Oh, okay. And, uh, how and fast still you enjoying can. My time. Okay. Well, and still enjoying my time. I oh, wasn't oh, trying yeah, to speed yeah, yeah. or anything. Like encourage, but not rushing. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, it was a fun time. Good. I look forward to it. It's yeah. been so long. It's yeah. still wrapped up. I have to... Oh, I got to put that in. I got to make sure I have to update the game. <laughs> make sure I will not be delayed any further. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That uh, video project turned out to be a lot harder than I thought yeah. it was. But I... Oh, hey, the book. I think it worked out. They gave some time for you guys to do the VODs, and I'll do some more later, so it's not just an entire massive <laughs> only mm -hmm. tears ones. So hopefully it'll yeah. be good. Yeah. But yeah, uh, there's a couple other things you also kind of missed out on. Let me look at the schedule. Oh, okay. Or, or like the schedule, just to remember, what did we play while you were gone? Sorry, sorry. Uh, you, you did see, uh, like, you did see my cake, so, you know. Your cake? That's Street your Fighter character sass. Oh, oh, oh! That was the cake joke. That was oh. the cake joke. You, you, they gloss over you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went right over my head. Mhm. Mm but yeah, uh, I also played some Fire Emblem last time, or while you were gone, Jay. Oh, I did see you had a vod of some kind of map that was infamous. I think that's what the title was. Uh, yes. Alluding to. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the title of the stream, if, uh, oh, what was it again? 
Uh, I named the stream. Uh, so this is my geology map design is infamous. Geology. Okay. Yeah. So uh, or genealogy. Yeah. It's essentially like uh, uh, the games that haven't been localized. Uh, essentially, of all mm. the environment games. Okay. But uh, let's just say I thought, well, like, okay, this is this goes relatively fine. I can do this. To oh god, oh shit, oh fuck, ah oh, Jesus. Oh. Uh, I have to imagine reinforcements. Uh, just a few. Ah, <laughs> like ah, oh, this is great. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say it here in case you haven't seen the vault because I feel like it's worth it. But oh. I need to show Jay what happened. After I this. see. Yes, yes. I look forward. I look forward. I'm rowing backwards. I turned around. Does it work? It'll be fine. Wait. Fish? No, no fish. Uh, over here. That sounds like what I did for Clues Persona 5 run, where I mentioned a thing only for much to go. Wait, what? Ah! Yeah, there, there are a lot. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tears of Kingdom has been essentially like, wait, you can do that in the game. I see. Oh. I am curious. I mean, um, essentially, you said, hey, we could do that, and all of us were like, wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put that moment. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. Oh, what is I going to say? Okay, yes, I look forward to de delving into it and uh, enjoying the. Uh, this, I kept thinking about, like, oh, man, I get to have this long vacation, go back, and then finally play Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! Oh, I see the fish. Oh, yes! There we I go. also remember one other thing that happened while you were gone. That was okay. E3, but not E3! Oh, yeah, yeah, what happened with that? Uh, so, a lot of things happened while you were gone, but at the same okay. time, not much that we truly care about that much. Ah, uh, okay, there's so nothing really like, huge. Nintendo hasn't really done too much, uh, like, oh, with who, this E3. Who did they put in the Smash? Oh, uh, Lloyd. <gasps> oh, no, you can't. You can't. You can't do that to me. You can't do that to me. They held him out for the last batch of goddamn beef fighters. And, oh, I had a problem. <sighs> but anything mildly interesting? Uh, yeah. Uh, probably the most interesting for us as a group mm -hmm. is uh, we got to see uh, Apollo Justice coming to Switch. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. we've, we've done that one, right? No. What? Oh wait, no, no, wait, he wasn't the main wait, was the main character? What one did we play? Okay, Spirit you're, you're of thinking of Justice? Dual, uh, you're thinking of Spirits of Justice where he essentially became a the main character. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh oh. this is a trilogy collection of all the games where from when he started uh, and until wait, that one. Where Apollo is the main voice of the entire Yes. I mean, it is just my It's voice coming out voice. early 2023, or four. Okay, time, time so to it is a while get away. into it. Well, time to woof. Well, okay. There's a couple more games we have before we get to that point. Okay. And by that, like, of other games we are interested in. Like, we're still finishing up AI Design. Yeah, even, yeah it, that is coming back. Just weird schedule things. <laughs> so, someone said where Apollo became a character. I, that. I almost said something else, but you know. Oh. Uh, but, uh, uh, what else was there? Capcom had their 40-year anniversary, uh, showcase. Okay. So, they showed up a couple things. Uh, they showed up killing uh, dinosaurs with guns. That was interesting. Our survival evolved? No. What? Uh, it was essentially it, it... Dino Crisis, but not Dino Crisis. Oh, so not the weird Pokemon one with guns. No, they showed up that too, actually. <laughs> oh, wait, is that finally coming out? Yes! Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, it, it is? Yeah. I don't know if I'm ready. It, That's... it got a full E3 trailer. <laughs> or like wait, E3 trailer. Did they explain how everything's going to tie together? Or was it just the same kind of weird trailer? It was the kind of same weird trailer, but you saw gameplay and it didn't look bad. How did they tie? Wasn't there like Pokemon making guns? Yes, that was shown in the trailer. <laughs> what? But... But then you can farm with them, and you can run, and you can use some of them as guns. And how does this yes. all time together? You can give them guns. It just like a tech demo that they just had too much fun with. Yeah. Okay. It, 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 but yeah, that's coming out. It was showcased on the uh, summer game fest. 
Oh, okay. It looked completely incongruous. Oh, what does that mean again? Finish the Great Eastern Extras? They're extras? Hmm. Oh, well, we did talk about that. Oh, oh, I'm holding the book. Oh, yeah, it does look incongruous, but it looks fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it seems like at least one to play at least a stream of to see, okay, what did they do? Yeah, but early access starts January, apparently. Big fish. Uh, there was also okay. one space game. I remember, like, some years ago, Capcom had, like, a game that they announced for 2022. Which you hover like an astronaut, uh, astronaut, and you had like a tiny android girl uh, helping you out or something. And we oh. knew barely anything about that game. Okay. Did that and they were show like, up? Oh, it's... Yes. And it got delayed again. <laughs> oh my god. Like it was supposed to release 2022, then it got delayed to 2023. And oh. then this trailer starts the best way possible. It's the best uh, delay announcement I've ever seen. Wait, what? How? So it's just this little girl drawing on a little piece of paper, and I recognized immediately this was the game they were talking about. I actually recognized oh, it. Oh, you like, remember? Oh, it. Okay. Yeah, that game from years ago that I haven't seen anything about. Right. Because I saw that direct, and I was like, I remember this game. Where has it been? Uh huh. Uh, and then she gets picked up by the astronaut and goes away, and we get to see what she was drawing, scribbling on the uh, paper. Uh huh. And you see, yeah, Pragmata, that was the name. You see. 2022 crossed out, 2023 <laughs> crossed out, <laughs> and then a sad frowny face drawn, and <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, that's really good. That's it really was good. Beautiful. Oh, uh, it, it doesn't do justice showing the delay. I'll have to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, it was so funny. Uh, other than that, we the you weren't there for the Persona stuff. Oh, the Persona stuff. Okay, so Persona had a saga during this entire debacle. Oh, okay. So what happened with Persona was uh, a couple of weeks ago, while you were still here, there were some domain leaks. So people found the term uh, P5T and P3R uh, being like domained. Oh, oh, like uh, like on the like websites. Well, okay, like web okay. Domain. Yeah, websites where, where those were like discovered. Gotcha, And like, gotcha. oh, so we're getting something Persona. And right? the Summer Game Fest comes and nothing shown. I was oh. Like, oh, that's weird. Okay. At the end though, they were like, we are now showcasing a, uh, or we're, we're glad to have this world premiere for this title. We're showcasing a remake that redefined the RPG genre and stuff like that. What? And people get excited. People are, oh, are yeah. like, really hyped. But there are three groups of people. Oh? There are Persona fans. Uh -huh. There's Final Fantasy fans. Oh. And there's fans of both. Okay. And at the end, they then show, uh, say the rumors were real. What? And they showcase Final Fantasy VII trailer. And I mentioned that to you. Because you were here during that. Uh, that was like when they were saying, like, there are pictures in the game. No, no, that was before the week leading up to it. They, oh, oh, like oh, oh, seven oh, okay. days before they announced the picture. They didn't oh. really specify that it was a remake, but they were like, revisit a world that redefined. So okay. essentially, it's a remake of some kind. Gotcha, gotcha. Don't mind me. I'm but, doing uh, things while Seth is talking. I will be there in a the moment. But yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So while that was happening, uh, uh, you got the Persona fan, or like seven days beforehand, they started posting a picture every day being like, oh yeah, this game has uh, reorchestrated music. This game has gameplay. This game <laughs> looks like this. Just very generic things, mm -hmm. essentially. But I noticed on the six days, like, wait, Summer Game Fest is tomorrow. Oh, Which okay. then uh, my DOS immediately connected to, like, there's going to be a reveal tomorrow. Gotcha. And so they so actually were leading I, up to something, at least. They, they were leading up to, like, hey, here's the giant new beautiful trailer. Yeah. Which, oh. Jack, don't watch. What? Oh, oh, right, 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 right. Because this is the remake. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, this is a remake. Yeah, that's uh, a 17 one. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. But then you had the Persona 3 fast being like, 
why, why would I think this was Final Fantasy? Persona 3, why would he say the rumors were real and all stuff like that? Right, Final right. Fantasy fans were like, of course it was Final Fantasy, what else would it be? Right, right, and then right. you oh, had okay. fans of Baltimore being like, well, of course it was Final Fantasy, what else would it be? <laughs> <laughs> I see, okay. And, uh, but then, I think a day after, the same day you leave. Okay. On the Persona Instagram. Okay. The trailer for Persona 3 Remake gets uh, oh, accidentally remake. leaked. Oh, Okay. Yes. Wow. But it's not supposed to be revealed yet. This was very much a big oopsie. A I big see. fuck oopsie. Bigger than motherfucking clap your hands. What? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> right. That was much an oopsie. bigger. Yeah. Bigger oopsie than that. And, gotcha. uh... Then, a day or two later, there were two new job listings for Atlas, being social media manager. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, oh, oh. They got fired. See. They got fired. Oh. Uh, but then, uh, uh, the day after the British, uh, Xbox conference happens, and then we get to see the trailer for Persona 3 Remake. Which looks great. It looks good. Okay. But, uh... What else was there? Uh... There are some qualms right now. Like, this Persona 3 remake doesn't include... It's not going to be the defi definitive edition of Persona 3. Yes. Okay. Because it has elements of the other games that it doesn't include. But... Uh, okay. Like, you don't get to choose to play as a female main character, which was a thing in one of the remakes. You don't get to get the answer, which was uh, essentially like an epilogue for the game. Okay. But uh, they still keep some quality of life, and like it seems to be like probably the best way to experience the game for now. For now, okay. DLC happens. We all know that. It's oh, Atlas Persona. I see. So people are like, we would not be surprised if those became DLCs later. Okay. But. Uh, Another thing that happened was uh, also all of the main uh, characters got uh, recasted. Like oh, all, every character okay. got recasted, they got a new voice. Gotcha. And I don't know how to like best describe this. The main character is also the voice actor for Luke from Street Fighter. But okay. you know him from a very different source material. Oh, okay. You're not a real gamer. You're not a real, oh, wait, oh. <laughs> the guy who read that copy pasta is the voice actor for oh. the main character of Persona 3 and Luke okay. from Street Fighter, which is a, the main character there too now, essentially. I see. Okay, okay. And uh, huh. we also got some uh, a pretty big, like, uh, the original voice actor for Boss from uh, AI Somnium Files is in there. Okay. We got, like, everyone is recast. Everyone is a new voice actor. There's no returning ones. I see. As far as we know, at the very least. Right. Both the many people's chagrin and uh, enjoyment, but you know, depending mm -hmm. on who you are. Yeah. I see. Uh, hmm. Now, uh, the next thing was they showed Persona 5T. T? Okay. Standing for Tactica. Tactica? We now, we now got the... Uh, Persona uh, slash Fireman uh, crossover game, we all expected to happen when we got something very different a couple years back. Okay. This is essentially a tactics uh, fire Persona game with playing like Final, uh, Fire Emblem, but okay. with Persona 5 casts. Gotcha. Weird. Oh, there it is. Sorry. But it also has a very... Uh, no, I, I'm seeing that you're struggling with something. I, I yeah, yeah seeing, I'm like, trying to install a button. driver, but it's not showing me the window I'm trying to see. Yeah. I'm just seeing a black screen of your end. There it is. Okay. There we are. But, uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, Persona uh, 5 Tactics. It's a game that I'm looking forward to. It looks nice. Okay. But uh, there are many people like, the art style isn't for me, and I can get that. Oh, okay, okay. It has a very, like, chibi art style, essentially. Gotcha. Uh, then, next up is, uh, uh, oh god, it had a horrible name. Metamorph... Uh, something? Persona Atlas Met... Oh, okay. Hmm, what is it called again? 
new Atlas game IP. Metaphor re Fantasio. Which is a mouthful. Yeah, sounds like it. But it's essentially like high fantasy persona. Oh. Okay. And it looks fantastic. I don't know like how to like explain how that looks. But again, mm. most games were like, I like it. I think they look interesting. They are not stream friendly games. They're not? There we go. Jake, we're playing the final Fire Emblem. We're on episode 21 and we're nearing the end. Oh. And these have been long streams as well. These RPGs will be twice as long if I played those. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Is that a better or worse title than Dissidia Final Fantasy Duo to seem? The problem is, uh, it has a benefit. It hasn't. Hi, you can see me. Uh, wait, what? We can see you? We, we see that window. You, you just, that was my DM with you. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, if you can DM me a thing, I think I can, I can now see them. I had it all set up to actually. Oh, were well, you actually setting it up? Oh! Yes, yes, yes. I thought, what were we talking? I, thought, I wanted to make sure that thought, it worked first. I thought he were trying to boot up Beat Saber or something. No, 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 no. I thought this we were talking about him. Oh, okay, okay. What I'm yeah, trying to do, though, is get to the YouTube video, but I don't think I can. <laughs> okay, if I do... Oh, wait, if you're going to my DM, I need to fill him with something because I'm not remembering what's at the bottom there. What's at the bottom? Hololive. Uh, certain Hololive videos that were oh, shared. Oh, okay. Let me just get rid of that one because it was funny okay. when shown, but you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, a lot of context would be weird. Aha! Hands. <laughs> Listen, Hololive makes videos, and out of context, they can tend to oh. be weird. Yeah, yeah. I, it's, it's too late. I deleted it. They can share you, show you anymore. I don't, oh. Uh, but, uh... Oh. Whoa. What's happening? I don't know. This is a thing. Oh. oh. Wait. Are uh, they on me? No. How do I... How do I put them on? How do I... How do I... Why do I have these? Why are these here? Put them on my face. Put them on. Why do you want them on your face? I don't know. Eh, physics. Uh, oh, right, right. But yeah, I sent you one of the, the uh, Persona video at the very least. Uh, I'm okay. trying to find the game again for the uh, showcase there. There it is. Gotcha. There's that video. So let's see if this actually works. No, 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 no. Oh, I see. So I need to... No, no, wrong kind. This is the wrong window. Wrong window. Wrong window. My room. Desktop. Three. No. How do I... Show this window. I want to show this window. Mm, no. I believe in you. Mm, okay. <laughs> you All I need to do those. is get this window to window number one. Okay. Did that? Okay. Okay. And then if I go here, you take that. And Yay! then. Rah, and then da. And then ha. Oh boy. So this is the new uh, Persona trainer, or not Persona, Persona okay. trainer. Thank you, progress bar. <laughs> Go away! Okay. Oh, God! The view on stream is tiny. It is kind of tiny for us, but yeah. Oh, is it? Okay. You're a bit far away. Ah! Ah! Does this work? <laughs> How is it now? <laughs> also, you're skateboarding on your sword. Oh! 
my eyes. Wait, this is by the people who did Persona? Yes, this is the same way the people that did Persona. Boy, I can tell! <laughs> oh, no! Hi! It burns. It burns. There is literally no distance between these two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the same thing fusion of the Personas uh, or uh, Atlas and two other franchises, oh. like, which is both uh, Persona and uh, uh, Shin Megami Tensei. So this is such a fusion Josh of the Xbox Series X and X. Shush, shush, we're not. Oh, you can't press on that big TV. Yeah, okay, yes. Now, if you get to the table, you could probably sit in a bit more comfortable place. Well, yeah, the, the, I, I can either sit... Nope, nope, nope. I can either sit on the chairs or stand here. That's it. Yeah. I can be there. But no, I think, Wasn't I there think, another room you could have? Yeah, right, right, I think I remember that if I go here, and then environment? Ooh, ooh, this one. But yes, Chad, if you have any other good idea for... Oh, yeah, I think that one was a much better one to actually view on. Yes, yes, if I can remember how uh, to... Yeah. Oh. Chad, do you remember uh, which... Uh, or any other like reveals that were really good to maybe showcase to Jay? Aha! Oh, yeah, that? there's the... Uh, I think that looks nice on my end. I can try Almost one more back screen. if need be, like that. Number one or number two? Let me know. Hmm, I think one number one was a little better, but uh, maybe Chad will uh, defer opinion. Okay, here's one. Looking around, and then number two. There's two. I think one is better. Okay. Oh. Uh, hmm, Apollo trailer could be good. Okay. Like, the thing is, um, while you could be like, oh, yeah, Jay should stay completely blind, I'm going to be honest, Jay would probably forget most of that until... <laughs> oh, the Sonic one. Sonic one? Oh, I technically already showed you that. Okay, there's the other trailer that we were talking okay, about. Okay, so if I click on this, it should show up on the screen right away. Yes! Yay! And then I can... Can I... Yes. Yes! Wait. That are wait. This is in game. That's in game? Oh, I, I believe it. This is in game. Okay. Yeah. It at least is not a real kid who I almost thought that it was. That's really good. <laughs> okay, oh, whatever. Sorry, kid. We still got a ways to go. Wow. <laughs> Very sorry. <laughs> to, oh, to question mark. Oh, no. It is so funny of a way to reveal that the yeah. game is delayed. That is really <laughs> the wow. My eyes. It burns. Pragmatica. Oh. It's nice to make it. Okay. All expected fans. Very heavy heart there. Must further postpone the game. Okay. <laughs> that is a really good way to do it, though. I like that. Hmm. I lost my way to see the chat, though. I'll get back to that. There we go. Wait, what's happening now? Lovely. What are we on now? I don't know what's happening. I don't know. You auto played something. Jungle. Oh, this is the music I listen to at work. This is, ironically, this music is what got me into wanting to do the Dreamcast stream before I left. <laughs> this is not at all Dreamcast music. I don't know what <laughs> happened. <laughs> Things got uh, very crossed. Yes. Uh, there's another trailer if you scroll down. Uh, uh, yes. It, 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 I believe in you. Uh, 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 the, uh, the text below uh, is probably easier to click uh, on. Oh. Well, then I'll play it in here. I, I, I meant the link that one. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> is it because it's full screen or something? Is, yeah, is it because this is full screen? Let's find out. Oh, shush. Shush. Ooh, plays a TV. Uh, okay. Okay, let's try now. 
No. You you should easily see when it happens. Ah. Uh, Why? I don't know. <laughs> what if I repost it or something? Or or you can do it the hard way. Listen. If I it mean works, it works. Well, maybe it won't. I can't paste. <laughs> Right click doesn't work or whatever. Oh, right maybe would be. maybe maybe that worked. I don't know. How do I how do I enter? How do I, there's no there's no go. Is that maybe that? No. No. Remember when there was a go button up here? No, I don't. But that was as old as I used to be. A button just said go. I can't do it now. Uh, okay. Why can't I? Wait, what? Oh, there. Works. What the hell? Okay. Apollo Justice's legal journey begins anew. Oh, that was the lady. Nice turning. I'm fine, oh, really. Graphics. This clearly contradicts the no. Oh, Gong Chung? Oh, this baby. guy. Okay, who the fuck is that? I don't know. Oh. Like, I've seen him pop up. Okay, well, there's... Fe okay, this is the one that we... No, this is not the one that we played. Oh, he's remade? We did not play this one. Oh. Gotcha. This was Athena's introduction. Oh, okay. Oh, him. We've seen him yeah. before? Okay. We've seen him uh, once, yes. Gotcha. This is the one that we played. That is the... Okay, this is, this is our start of the journey. Okay. Amaya! Wow. I should probably watch Spirit of Justice again. Because <laughs> now I will remember all these characters. I don't remember you, though. This was your first game. All comes in a great collection. The Apollo Justice Trilogy. Do they always look like that? Or is that remade, kind of? The, the Apollo Justice game itself had that one. And then the two next one was like, Ah, we need Phoenix for the name. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's the, uh... This one. Yeah, do you know the, the legend of this one? No. People call this video... Well, okay, this actually... Original going got deleted because of the great, like, Nintendo No Music Purge. Mm -hmm. But apparently this... This was up here for, like, years. And it's called, like, The Crossroads? Because it kept popping up on people's recommended. So people would leave comments at the bottom of, like little bits of like where they are in their life and they'll keep doing it uh, every time that it pops up <laughs> so now someone's re-uploaded as a new video and now people have moved on to this one so i guess now it's my turn because <laughs> i i heard Yay. about this recently i forget where but i will get that later yeah i uh, i showed you the, the sonic trailer earlier but the chat wants to see a reaction to it again so let's see uh okay because i don't remember it actually <laughs> wait no not both this is a Twitter one, so... Okay, pause. Okay. Swoosh. Okay, and bigger. Mixture of gameplay and non-gameplay. Oh, I'm guessing that's not gameplay. <laughs> oh, yes, okay, I do remember this. This yeah. is very clever. And now it's gameplay. Wow. Yeah, people have been able to like see the frame it turned into gameplay by going like wow. the frame by frame and found it out. This makes a lot of sense. Like, hmm. this looks good. And it's got good yeah, mechanics it... to it. Green Hill Zone is dead. <laughs> oh, did they not go to Green Hill Zone first? No, no, they, they did not do it this time. And people I were see. ecstatic. Oh yeah, classic Amy. That's fun. Oh, that's right! This is the one with co-op! Mm -hmm. Yeah! Can't All possibly right. end horribly wrong. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't question that. Well, I, I question, but okay. What about water? You like water? That's a lot of good water. Oh, is he turning into a squid? Oh, it's a minigame! I missed that before. No. <laughs> okay, no, 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 oh no! Multiplayer me. minigame! Oh, please tell me that not one person can mess it up for everybody. Oh, there's an ultimate attack, that's right. Yeah, that looks really good. That looks really, really good. I am very excited for that. Hmm. Oh yeah, this! 
This guy's only ever been in the, like... The fighting Crazy. game, yes, yeah. I believe. Oh, yeah, I forgot to point him out. I actually noticed him the first time we went through. He popped up in the beginning. <laughs> cool. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me see if I can see what the chat is saying now. Here, over here. Issues in a co-op game. This series, are you meant to go see the... Yes, that's kind of my mm -hmm. thought, too. Like, it gets chaotic enough in Mario, like the new Mario. And here it's like, oh, no, that's even mm. more challenging. I'm... Mm. But... What I heard, people have been getting like hands-on experience with this, and people have loved how this game plays. Yes, but I haven't yeah, seen anyone talk about the multiplayer segment of it or act, uh, uh, act or passion. I will label that as scary, but maybe chaotically fun enough. Oh, what is this? Spider-Man Two. I actually don't know uh, much about the original one. Me neither. Well, I played a little bit on stream, but I didn't really play much after. But I do want to. Okay. And people are really hyped for this. Because that's Miles, right? Miles on the right, yes. Yes. Absolutely. Peter and Miles. Okay, this trailer had more dialogue than I thought it did. Three minutes. Wait. Wait. Uh, we saw some great gameplay at the PlayStation Show. Auto-generated! Uh, oh, what? Like in the game that we're, there may be more. There are more. But, uh, there are more out there. I two promise. main ones, but uh, we have some new art to show. of. Uh, okay, it's uh, relatively good. Okay. PlayStation event. So tell us a bit about uh, him and how he factors So Craven's in. very different from any character we've done. He's not, you know, he's not powered by magic or, you know, tech. What? He's just the best hunter in the world. He's got a trailer for 12 minutes of gameplay earlier than this. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we do have a gameplay trailer as well, but again, that was 12 minutes. I didn't pick that one. Right, 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 right. So, Peter, Ooh. Miles, and others. He's on what are these, the primal looking done, characters? Done, Vikings? Uh, yeah. but no, oh god, they just uh, uh, mentioned it, but he essentially goes to a hunt for Spider Man, I believe. Oh, I think I do also, remember him. Hi. <laughs> Whoa, Venom. Big, scary uh, Venom. Holy crap. Mm -hmm. I guess Venom was always a larger dude, wasn't he? Yeah. He's only skinny when he was on PS. Also, here's interesting. It is not Eddie Brock. Okay. It is not. It is not. Oh, Eddie Brock. it's not. Um, our goal was to tell an original story, something yes. you haven't seen in the comics or the movies yet. Oh Obviously, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. All those things. You <laughs> yeah. The guy wearing venom. It's gonna be the guy who runs the newspaper. Oh, what's his name? Mm. <laughs> Get me pictures of Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be him. A bit of a tease. Now, yep. obviously, the, the the symbiote is a big part of the gameplay, and and one of the things I think we were all struck with the footage that you showed at the PlayStation Showcase was, uh, you know, how mm. that is gonna really impact the game. Wait, do you play so, as Venom? So tell us a bit about that and how. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, I mean, what? I oh, do you play the, where the Peter ball ball wears it a bit, or Miles yes. wears it a bit? <laughs> okay. There's uh, gameplay. Oh. Yeah. Okay, they're uh, up in the ante with that. Okay. Oh God, look at that. Power, aggression, which you saw both in the moves and how Peter talks. So this reminds me of like combining the game with what was it? Control? Was that the game that Arkham? Oh yeah. Yeah. There's much more of that journey when you play the game. Okay, maybe I also maybe we need to take a look at the gameplay trailer here a little. Horizon Zero Dawn a little bit. Yeah, city I mean the city of yeah, I have the actual gameplay trailer shown uh, afterwards. <laughs> okay. Web wings to traverse at speeds way faster than before. Um, is um, Spider Sense. That's pretty good. Hugely. Because I can't. I don't know the original games. I'm not sure how like uh, what was new at Wow. <laughs> yeah. Owl. One thing is like uh, Whoa. from what people that are aware and uh, have had to talk about is mm -hmm. the, uh, symbiote Spider Man is essentially strong Spider Man. This fall. So like he's, he's the big Strange magic. Though. Jeff, I know you. Yes. Like ah, okay. Well, everything else is usually like ro uh, rogue based. Like you're supposed to dodge everything. You're still supposed to dodge it, yeah, but okay. it seems much more like. Big punch. Hmm. Okay. Oh. oh. Cool. I oh, yeah. I think that was just the trailer or the release date. Yeah. This year. In wow. three months. Four months. <laughs> Four months? Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's uh, the gameplay trailer of it. And, yeah, Konami also announced a Metal Gear Solid 3 remake. Oh, okay. happening again it really doesn't like you does it apparently not not for this one uh what if you click on the big window and then back on the small window <laughs> what 
I don't know about that. Anyway, yeah, we got it. That worked. I did show him the new Sonic, yes. But yeah, if there's oh, something you guys want him to see, I can share it with him. Yeah, yeah feel free to shout out. I'm curious. Insomniac. Yeah, this is a little bit of an older trailer, but it still uh, holds up more. Okay, okay, cool. Wow, that looks really good. Like the like one of the movies. Hmm. Like I know these guys aren't really in our sphere of interest, but I heard nothing but good things about these games. Yeah, it looks neat. The beast hmm. could be anywhere. The beast. Yeah, apparently that guy that you saw was called Craven the Hunter, which is just no a hunter. Oh, okay. I do remember, I think it's an animated show. Yeah, mm, I right? remember him from the show too, but that's actually all I've seen him in. Yeah. But I'm also not a big, like, Spider-Man dude. Right. I actually was as a kid. Now I'm thinking about it. As a kid, yeah. But it was essentially just an animated show for me. Yeah, same, same. It wasn't much after the animated show to keep up with. Yeah. Like, I watched a lot of the 90s cartoon and then the uh, uh, Sam Raimi Spider-Mans. Oh, the Sam Raimi ones are really good. Can't be as hell, but I enjoy that. The camp is the fun of it. Yeah, but it really like his own style. The, yeah, now with the Super Mario movies, especially with the Flash coming up, people have been like, we missed the camp. Oh, yeah. Harlem Fish Market. All teams convert. Harlem Lizard Fish Market. Lizard across the river. I'm not gonna make it in time. Sasuke? Switch to Miles! Miles, the hunters tracked Connors to the Harlem Fish Market. Oh, are you thinking of Yuri Lowenthal? I'm on it. Yes. Johnny Young? No, Johnny Young Bush is Ichigo. Uh, guess we'll check yeah, I think, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, he's the voice. And he was the voice of the main character in Persona 3 before. Oh, nice. Genki. Oh, he's got like a wingsuit. At the fish market. Yeah. Must be sushi night. You still got the hunter drone you hijacked? Didn't really tough hiding it from my mom, but yeah, I'll boot up and see you there. Yeah, you're almost almost a Peter in the last game too. Yeah, I remember his name was familiar, but I just didn't know who was uh, Sasuke. Yeah, I just that's the one I recognize him as where I heard him first, I think. Fair, makes sense. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But you can see like. This is supposed to be like a bit more stealth compared to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. So right now, that Peter has the suit, but it's not been like taken over by it yet. Also, tuna. Yeah, this is a fishing related. We're fine. <laughs> Fish. Fish. <laughs> this is very like Arkham Knight. Yeah. Arkham. It, it's more like not the one we played, but yeah. It's not like Gotham Knights, but it's more like the other Yeah. Ones. Oh, yeah, he's at the lightning power. Is that for real? forgot about yeah. that. I still don't know why he has lightning powers. Yeah, I forget. I think it's like nervous system based was supposed to be the thing. I'm not sure. Are you Connors? I but didn't know like... he has them, and I'm like, okay, he has them. I don't know why he has yep. them, but he has them. <laughs> Need a burrito. Well, I I actually grew up with spiders in my backyard that drew a lightning bolt <laughs> down the middle of their webs. It was weird. <laughs> it was li very distinct, too. Like, beep, 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 beep. He's out of control. Who would this be? It's not going to be Venom, so the lizard Is man? Is it lizard? Yeah. I saw them say lizards. Are, are they actually trying to hunt the lizard? Oh, maybe. Wait, does anyone have the lizard man? Does anyone have Croc? No, Croc is is Batman. Croc is Batman, yeah. Killer Croc is Batman. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's something big, yeah. It's funny how you can see the spider says just before that happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so I can see how people are excited for this. This looks really good. Mm-hmm. Like even you can see the quality of the fans going, oh. Goblin? No, this random bird. Oh, oh, no, the hawk. Or, no. Vulture? Oh, friend. We can catch it's actually a friend. Gold. It's a friendly vulture. Oh. I remember one of the recent movies I think had vulture as a bad guy. Or it was yeah, Batman. I think one of the... Uh, I think a vulture was in one of the uh, Tom Holland Spider-Mans. Mm -hmm. 
Like, I know a lot of the Spider-Man movies. I haven't watched any of the Tom Holland ones. I haven't either, actually. And that's not for a lack of interest. I actually I am interested in watching them. Right, right, right. It's just uh, so many movies. And, oh. Spider-Man? Hi, hi, Peter. Peter. Hey, man. New threats? The building's swarming with hunters. Any sign of Connors? Uh, yeah. Ugh, the Can't eye is freaky. Hey, Mr. Parker. Mr. Spider-Man, I mean. Uh, yeah. Well, the date isn't complete. Okay. Yes, I just I use your na Wait, names you out in public. Yeah, that would be a bad idea. That wasn't me. Me neither. I don't even have a stomach, so... <laughs> Oh, so that's just an actual robot. There's no one piloting that. Okay. I think it is someone. I think it's like Miles friend or something. Okay, just just being uh funny. Oh, this is the beast they're hunting. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Well, it could also just be that he's one of the beasts he's hunting. Okay, fair enough. And he's the only one who can help. We won't. You think I got the jet skis. Harry the Goblin? Probably yeah. Harry Connor. Hmm. I have such or, a vague like, knowledge really of Spider-Man. Yeah, again, it's like yeah. I know enough to be interested in liking the character and stuff like that, but not enough to be like, oh yeah, that's this. Right. Oh, this is the most disappointing part of the trailer. Listen, doesn't have a snap code. Why not? Wait, what? Yeah, the, the listener is like a scientist. Oh, that's right. He has a lab coat. I forgot about that. But yeah, uh, Chad is saying according to the trailers, that guy is hunting for multiple people, seemingly. Mm. Which Spider-Man, by the way? How do you guys distinguish this? There are now two people named Spider-Man. Maybe they probably explain that in the universe. I'm curious. I warned you about going after Connors. Now this is on you. He is a little angrier. Poison clouds. That all you got? Oh yeah. You also know what other thing with Spider-Man though that I really want to do really soon? Huh? Across the Spider-Verse. Oh, did that movie come out? Yeah, it came out uh, last week, and people have been raving on about it. Oh. Even my uh, girl or my, <laughs> my uh, sister's boyfriend has to, like, oh, okay. watched it. But he watched it in Norwegian, and he was so sad because he only discovered it was in Norwegian five minutes before it started screening. Oh, jeez. Hang on. But, uh... Yeah, it, I heard nothing but good things about people that actually have opinions worth listening to. <laughs> oh, okay. No, like, I heard some people be like, oh, yeah, this movie isn't really that great. I didn't no. like it. And then they'll go on to, like, just cartoons as a medium bad. Right, like, right. Oh, opinion not valid. <laughs> no, you're right, right, right. Like, yeah, you're not the right audience for it. Man, they are really hiding the lizard. <laughs> we just saw it swim past. Well, kind of. Uh, yeah, we didn't like seeing it still, but yeah. yeah. But still, yeah. Um, also, when they fell in the water, I had like the one piece and it's like, oh no, they fell in the water. <laughs> oh yeah, that also actually got a live action trailer just yesterday. What? Did... One piece. I do not want to be one... Oh, they are ma right. Is that actually coming out? It's coming out at the end of the month. Oh. Oh, okay. This is man, look at man, looking pretty cool. God damn. Yeah. Mini I Godzilla. I, I get that they want to, or probably are missing the uh, uh, live code, which I would put there, but you know. Yeah. Okay. Don't shoot the man. Oh, he's fine. Everyone, take cover. What are you guys doing? Trying to take out that gunship. Can't get close enough. But I can. I'm one of them. Remember? Bro. Oh, so that was him over there in the corner. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think he used the robot, essentially. How much is the player actually controlling these, though? I mean, it's cool, well, but... That was essentially like a railroad section. Yes. Yeah, that okay. That was props. Did they send the friend into explode, or is that a different one? Ah, uh, oh, you know. Yeah. He got a 
I keep wondering why people would live in this town that random explosions could happen in, and I'm like, oh, you know what? People keep living where hurricanes happen, so I guess it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, man, before right, it gets too far. No. He's mine. You sure? He's got big teeth. So do I. Um, he's not normally like that, right? No. Mm. What could it's it possibly be? <laughs> People are assuming that you as Miles have to fight Peter symbiotes. Oh! And then he takes him over and then he just gets beefy. He gets a boom, Maybe. boom, firepower. <laughs> okay, wow, yeah, that looks really cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you want, I shared the One Piece uh, trailer. Okay, okay. I think uh... that's safe to watch, right? Safe to watch? Were there spoilers in the? I, I mean, like reactions, like you know, like you. Oh, be taken uh, down. Ah. it's at the end. It's Ever fine. Was a kid. Oh, okay. He's been calling. Oh, it's the merry go. So? Yeah. I'm setting out to follow my dreams. Overall, I'm be but king yeah. of the pirates. I don't know why it's a Spanish title. All I need is a loyal crew. Or I don't I don't know if Spanish, I'm assuming it yeah. is. Hi. We'd make a pretty good team. Yeah. We're heading up to the Grand oh, Line. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Stretch of ocean. Oh good god. Islands. Bigger pirates. <laughs> Careful with that. I don't work for you. I'm sensing a little bit of tension amongst the crew. Not, Not a crew. A crew. Yeah. We haven't sailed together for very long. Oh, Sanji, but okay. And I know we've got mm. each other's backs. Oh, no, oh, Usopp? Wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Oh, oh was that Axe, lady? I think oh. so, yeah. Yeah, there's some dialogue people are a little bit like, eh. Yeah, I but, uh, immediately don't feel like that's Luffy, but <laughs> that's interesting. It has the essence of Luffy, but not the dialogue of Luffy. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Yeah. But yeah, we'll essentially, I think this is going to be eight episodes. Oh, uh, okay. The first season, eight or ten episodes. And as Gomez says, going to span a hundred chapters. Oh, no. Yeah, what? they're going to go to the Grand Line. I don't know why that happened. But yeah, from what I get, it's like this season is going to span everything in East Blue until they get to the Grand Line. That's a lot. At least it's more it than is. one movie, so better than Avatar. But yeah, like so people have been like, uh, the casting has been like uh, perfect for this. Like that's the pe things people said. Uh, <laughs> I said it as a joke. No, that's Jen Jenin. Like might not be 100 chapters, but they are doing the entire first arc. Oh, okay. Uh, but uh, the one thing people have said is like the casting is the one thing people love of this game. Like genuinely, like no matter what, people have been happy about that. And th that is me. Like I don't care if it's good. I don't care if it's bad. I don't care if it's flops. I just want this year not Robin in the live action. <laughs> okay, right. But yeah, like they've been like, I want to see Chopper. I want to see Robin. I want to see uh, everyone else. Uh, just I mean, want to see them live action because. To be fair, they nailed the live action look of them. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the but, looks are great, and the, the uh, sword fight look great as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, here, yeah. I think I'm going to share with you the big trailer from the game that I think, like, while not necessarily like the one that we are like wowed by, it is okay. the one that has taken internet by storm. Okay, this is the Final Fantasy. Fa Final, fa Final Fantasy. This is the. Mm hmm. This is the mm -hmm, final. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's okay, it's moved up a little bit. Final, final, final. This is the final, final, final. Just press the honk and press it again. It worked I, last I time. I don't know why I honked. I don't control the honks. <laughs> I thought you told me. You control that, your honks. It right? just kind of hurt. Okay, I can scroll. <laughs> if I just get it. Does the thing your button is held down at every time or something? <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Huh. I believe in you. <laughs> Click back on the big screen and back on Discord. 
Uh, go back to screen two. I'll click on this one. Ah! Oh. Over here in the corner. My screen! Oh, no! I can barely see shit! <laughs> I cannot see you anymore, chat! I mean, they're right here. Nope. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to remove that one, too, from me! No, no. Oh, oh, it's on screen three now! Oh, oh, yeah, I it thinks that mind. something is clicked in. I don't know what. So, Chad, how are you doing? Mm. There we go. I turn back on. <laughs> oh, God, no. Hey. I'm just looking at my recommender while I'm watching here, waiting here, <laughs> and someone did a super cut of, like, uh, Lord of the Rings, of but Frodo and Legolas talking. It's 30 seconds long. Oh, okay. It's become a meme that Frodo doesn't know Legolas' name. Oh yes, I've heard. I have heard that one. Open link. Okay. Oh. Oh, <sighs> oh wait, I can't see anything. Wait, what? What do you mean? Ready? I'm just seeing the chat in the black background. Oh right, you're not seeing the big. Uh, huh. <laughs> I don't know if I can show you, but you know what it looks like, right? Uh, no. I haven't watched the trailer myself. You haven't watched this trailer? Oh no. No. Yeah, I don't. I don't know where it's gone. <laughs> Wait, the window is just gone for you? <laughs> it, I think it got like moved off screen, and I can't bring it back. So you might have to watch it simultaneously. I can't seem to fix this. Something uh, weird has happened, and it's un, okay. un, un, unfixable in VR. <laughs> what What are you seeing? I'm seeing ten seconds in giant fire thing. Uh, okay. Just uh, tell me whatever, I will press space. Okay. So, three, two, one. Ah! So, you know how Thursday the Kingdom just came out? Yes. Say hello to what people say. This might still be the game of the year of this year. Oh. The people have just played a demo. Oh, they played a demo. Okay. Wow, look at the graphics here, too. Goddamn. You're not the only one who's seen their world fall apart around them. I thought I was ready for this. I know, but we will face it together. She looks nuts. Let's shut him up. Oh, that shield of Rosaria, and I will. I'm actually right. There's some of these monsters now. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought the plant one looked kind of familiar. Come on, Ivory. Show us your true power. Damn. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, it comes out in five cool. days. Who's come again? It comes out in five days. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Wait, no, don't, don't, no, no. I don't, no, it's fine. Okay, I'm going but, uh, to do awkward motion to try to fix the OBS thing, <laughs> but keep going. But yeah, uh, so this game has like a monster of a crew. A which crew numbers of game developers? Yes, like this game is developed by like a massive crew. And like, gotcha. it's really good crew as well. Oh, okay. uh, like uh, the we have the actual uh, uh, what's it called uh, the main core Final Fantasy team here, which it consists of Joshi P, who is one of the directors of Final Fantasy fourteen, which, as many people chat knows, really well beloved by at least uh, the people who play MMOs and stuff like that. Gotcha. Okay. And uh, people really love the story and all of that, so people are looking forward to that aspect. And okay. then we're like, hey, our gameplay, like, we're not, we like this, but we don't really know how to develop this kind of gameplay. Right. So they got the guy behind Devil May Cry and Dragon's Dogma. Oh, uh, okay. Which has made, like, per really good, like, fighting game or, like, beat em up kind of games. Right. And right. he has come out in an interview saying, like, this is his magnum opus. Oh. 
And, like, that's also one thing. And then we're like, but, you know, there's still some gameplay elements we could still want that we don't really know how to do. Okay. So they grabbed the Kingdom Hearts development team to also work on this. Oh, okay. And then they also have gotten massive music for composers. I can gotcha. see it again. Okay. Uh, I see. So this game really will contend for, like, the bus. People gotcha. have, like, really high hopes for this one, yes. <laughs> I can't weigh in. I haven't tried Tears of the Kingdom yet. <laughs> yeah, I think one of the things that is going to be a diversive for most, or, like, divide a lot of people is, one, it's a PlayStation mm. exclusive. Like, PlayStation 5 exclusive. Oh. It but, looks like it'll be uh, hard to run on the Switch. I think uh, that <laughs> might... <laughs> But yeah, they uh, that is one of the big complaints because like people are like, is this a system seller? And the people who played it was like, yes, yes. Oh, oh god. Which is a scary is thought it... because the PlayStation, to be fair, hasn't been doing too hot. Oh, I mean, it was so like, hard to get for a while that it kind of. Was, yeah, well, uh... I think the main thing is it hasn't yeah. had the like you need to have a PlayStation Five. Like a PlayStation Five is nice to have, but you haven't had the I need this console. Right, right, right. Okay. It hasn't really had the I have a selling power mm -hmm. beyond just I'm PlayStation. The same with Xbox. Xbox hasn't had really, really the same power beyond I'm PlayStation or I'm Xbox. While the gotcha. Switch had like, look at all these games I have. This is for us and us only. I see. Okay. But, uh, Don't mind me. Uh, uh, the main thing is like with the this one game that I think is a uh, device for a lot of people is. This is going to be a very mature story. Like, it's rated mm. M, I believe. So it's not like the same people who, uh... Oh, hi, did... Gorn. Hi. Yeah, the, not people who did, uh... What was it? The, the guy in the t-shirt? Like, the remake of, like, the very first game? Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah, the, uh... Final Fantasy, uh... God, what was it called again? Oh, it had a funny name. Yeah, it was the one with Jack. Oh, yeah, his name was Jack. I remember that. Okay, eat over that way. So, yes, don't mind me. I feel like wrapping up. I do want to do a couple of little tests just to feel like I can do more VR streams later. So, let me just kind of... Stranger Paradise. Thank you, Dragoni. Ah, okay. But, yeah. Uh, what was it? But, yeah, like, I, I think it's going to be, like, in that vein, but more serious. If that makes sense. Okay. All right. Gotcha, gotcha. Un momento. I'm going to punch somebody in the face. Understandable. Have a nice day. Oh. Do you want to repeat the magic? The magic? Oh, no. There's oh. no There's no rabbits and hippos here. Uh, now... I'm hoping for one thing, and that's that the chat can hear this. <laughs> chat, please confirm. Can you hear the music or not? Yeah, hopefully they can. I mean, they heard the because music I during can... the stream, so it sh or during fishing, so it should be good. I'm not hearing any music. <laughs> You're not? <laughs> and neither is chat. Really? No, that badger! Can you hear the game? No. Wait, you don't hear? Okay, then that must mean that something changed. Aha, you. The bastard. Yes. Okay. Oh, now I hear. Thank God. Thank <laughs> you for catching that. Get out of here. Oh god. <laughs> now get off it. Of... I'm coming for you and this badger lets me go. Okay. So, uh, welcome to my workout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does sound like a puncher, but you keep hitting your mic every now and then. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll, try to, I'll try to punch lower. I think it's just your movement in general makes it sound like that. <laughs> it is funny, though. 
Oh god, wait, no, not you, not you, not you. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Wait! No! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Give me that back. No. I'm gonna stay away. Ah! Uh. Did I get him? Oh. I guess so. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Die so I can live. Uh, here, can you? <laughs> it, that's such a funny mechanic. <laughs> put, put that down. Put it down. Thank you. Oh, you, you. No, 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 no. Put it, put it, put it, put it down. No. Put it down. Okay, thank you. Ah! Oh. Ah, no. Yeah, I got your pants. I'll just take that. Thank you. What? <laughs> <laughs> I hit the other arrow. Ah! Is there oh God? Is there multiplayer Gorn? Oh my God! Is there a multi-world Gorn for Archipelago? What items would you? Oh, you would get me weapons. <laughs> Satisfy the chest, please. My hands are tired. And the first thing I get you is a badger. Oh my god, oh, oh, you, your chest give me enemies. <laughs> okay. Oh god, no, 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 no. Can I, can I have that? No, give me that. No, I'm taking the guy I had to kill. Oh, here. Yes. Yes. Oh god. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So dare I ask how this looks? Probably pretty rough, right? Uh. I'm gonna be honest. Better yeah. frame rate than fishing. What's that? Better frame rate than when you were fishing. Better frame rate when I was what? What are you talking? Yeah, fishing was constantly struggling. This is not really struggling that bad. Wait, it was? I didn't yeah. mention that. Well, it was more network was struggling during. It. You've been great the entire time. I oh, great. Oh, you mean internet? Oh. I, I think I meant the frame rate of the game. Ah. You know, that also still looks fine, actually. I don't oh. really see a difference. Cool. Hmm. No, 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 no. You give me my life back. No. No. I would love to have a bladed weapon, please. <laughs> These are great, uh -huh. but my arms are getting tired. You would love it, wouldn't you? I certainly would. <sighs> and people ask, how have you been losing weight? Um, uh... <laughs> 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 well, so there's a bunch of like loincloth men, and I beat them up. <sighs> Crack the kit. Crack the kit. Ah. <sighs> Got it. Nah, not. I mean, that's about. Ooh. Oh no. Ooh, axe. Oh god. No. No. Don't lie to Jay. <sighs> no. Oh, the dual sword. 
the, the, the Maze Windu, or no? Oh, no, Ma Maze uh, Windu. Maul. How Doku? The Maul. I yes. I forgot all my names. No. No. Uh, yes! Oh, no. Ooh. Can opener! Can opener! No! Ha! No! With your legs! Bad boy! <laughs> Don't do that! Ha! What say you now? Oh god! Now! What? Hey! Hey! No! Oh, no, 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 no. that was close! That was very close! It is nice how like, they gave you a second chance, but the second chance becomes shorter and shorter every time. Yeah, it gets very dicey. Literally. Oh, by the way, a uh, go gore warning, I guess. Well, as the place around me is just... Say, I, I just immediately saw like decapitation. Like, well, if you're good with squeamish, I'm sorry. Yeah. Kind of forget about that after a while. No. 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 <laughs> yeah, just get some a little... Oh, I remember gory. when I was hosting a summer, uh, like, a little gaming thing and uh, here in where I live. And uh, one of the things I had available yeah. was Gorn. These were for think... kids in, like, fifth grade. And I was like, I have to enable, like, the, the sensor-friendly version of this. Yeah. I have to. Is there one? Yes. It took oh. me to give it to Pinatas. Mm. You know what? I don't use this one very often. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Okay, yeah. I feel like you might be able to relate yet to this logical. Yeah. 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 What? Yeah. Okay. That works. Yeah. No. Aha! Our battle will be legendary. No. Mmm. No. Mmm. Hey! Oh, God. Oh! Intended. Hey, fridge! Uh, Core warning! <laughs> oh, fridge, no, I'm sorry! I totally forgot, that's on me. I was trying to pick out games. I will end this moment I get to all 100 kills. Hmm. Huh. Ah, yes, catch your release. Oh, Ma right. L let me just real quick. Uh, Thank you. Gorn. Eh. Done. There we go. Such riveting fishing gameplay. Oh, well, look! I'm casting the line! I'm casting the line! I'm casting the line! No! The line! The line! Who I mean, and sinker? Oh, to, no! To be 100% fair, I don't think too many people are showing up randomly for catch and release. Yeah. Just, just my humble opinion. Yeah, it is fun. But yeah, not exactly a popular game. And is it what? your excuse to just chat and talk without actually having yeah. to uh, focus on the game? Oh, there we go. You. Okay. Oh, 605. Okay. Need a little more workout. That one. Oh. Oh, was, oh, where? Oh, oh, that was my computer. Oh, <clears throat> anyway, no, here you go. <laughs> I didn't hit nothing. Okay. Mm. I will leave him out of this, but you know, Saps, you know. Yeah. You, oh, you remember that guy? <laughs> <laughs> Power recover for streaming, enjoy the Gorn. Will do! Too bad we left Gorn now for, for super hot. Right. Oh, right. Super hot. Oh, thank DR. you. Immediately forgot again. Oh, no. No. Ha! No. Is it just called super hot or is it called something else? Super hot VR, technically? Oh, there it is. Yeah! I found super hot potato while trying to search for it. Super hot potato? That's apparently our game. Oh. Oh god. Oh no, my visuals! Ah, 
gotta come back. <laughs> okay, I wanna get that issue fixed. I'm glad you guys can't see that happen, but it's annoying. Oh, I didn't see that one. Okay, one more quick. Mm, no. Uh, if I can just have that, thank you. I'm here. I'll take that. Hmm. Oh. Maybe just best two thirty one. <laughs> What's that? Best two thirty one. Oh uh, well, no, no. What is now? Crazy. Now, unfortunately, that was an extreme pop-off that has never been replicated. The ones that make you sad every time you play. Ah, oh, no, uh-oh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> oh, uh, sure. This one, too. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. Ah, try to protect it. Oh, a gift. Ooh, gift for you. A second gift. Ha! One that way, one that way. No, no. Ooh, I will take two of these. No, 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 no. Ah. No. Oh, uh, don't break it. Ah. Mm hmm. That's free. No. Ah. I'm glad his elbow was very weak. Oh. This is empty! Ah, oh, I got that one. Okay, let's go in that one. Okay, so now I must go for my most intense and scary workout. Oh, the one that will burn all of the... Well, okay, besides that, you can see All right. Me. This isn't fishing. Yeah, it is now Fruit yeah. Ninja. We're, we're just doing a quick VR test at the end because I've been putting off doing a VR stream just because I wasn't sure how things would run and things would be different. So I got I got all, all uh, worried about it. I'm like, I'll do them eventually. So I figure since I am here, right, right here at the end of a longer one, I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. Come at me, you son of a bitch. Okay. This one will take a little bit to ramp up. But yeah, I'm glad that, uh, well, I guess I'm glad and not glad that there wasn't too big a crazy reveals that I missed while I was away. For once! Yeah. <laughs> There are some rumors again going around, but okay. you know, rumors are rumors. Right, right. But, uh, yeah, there is talk like, we still have like, what's Nintendo doing? And we still have no clue. Oh, has Nintendo not done anything? I guess you didn't show me anything, did you? Nope. So they wouldn't. Like, the only thing Nintendo really did was the Capcom thing, and even that wasn't really. Right, okay. So, yes, I showed Jay uh, uh, Apollo. I did show it that. Yes, yes, that's intimidating for voice acting, but I did like doing him, so I definitely would be down to do it. I would just need to bring lots of chalky milk. Oh, no. Yeah, Nintendo just kind of dropped... What was the big announcement that they did? Pikmin? Uh, did they announce Pikmin out of nowhere? And then just, like, right before... 
yeah, Pikmin got its own uh, trailer randomly, and also we got a uh, DLC for uh, uh, Rayman uh, mm. in uh, Mario Rabbids. Okay. But yeah, wasn't there another video that they showcased that was like, uh, what was that again? There was something they showed that was kind of like odd. I'm just surprised they just showed that one. It might have just been Pikmin. Like, it, it's like, oh yeah, here's the Pikmin 4 trailer. It's like, why? What? Like, yeah, I saw that. I was kind of like, are they not going to do any kind of E3 thing? You don't have to anymore, I guess. It seems like a good time to do it. <laughs> Maybe this is kind of like, ah, they've got Tears of the Kingdom to uh, kind of play with at the moment. They should be fine for a while. No, that was that was a that was me. How dare I'll you! I'll have to start doing these with the mic on just to remember where it is. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Wander. Like the problem besides Pikmin is we have no clue what else they're doing this year. Which, like, they just announced it or released this to the kingdom. And, like, yes, we get that. But at the same time. There are going to be people, shockingly, not interested in Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> Rarer than most, but yeah, definitely true. I mean, who hasn't played Tears of the Kingdom by now? I bet. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I just can't believe. Eventually start matching the music, I swear. <laughs> Usually we get around a thousand. Listen, I, I hear Cedalblade, I start humming. <laughs> as soon as I recognize it's Cedalblade. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. I'm still upset about that one. What did I do to you? I remember doing something to you. Yeah, like, I was like, this song sounds so familiar, but I can't place it. Jay looked it up, uh, like, in the YouTube playlist, and I was like, oh, yeah, you should recognize this. And then that was just, like, you're infuriating me. <laughs> yeah. And what it was was essentially, like, the, uh, Seal of Blade, the, was it two or one? I think it was Seal of Blade one Riki style of music. I think so. And I was like, of course it's that song, yeah. But yeah, this song is, mwah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you have to not want to jam out to this guitar. I'm still upset that Seedle Play 3 lost the OSC of the year for, or best soundtrack of 2022. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it lost to, uh, uh, God of War. God of War? Like, I'm not upset that it lost the game of the year, because that, I thought it was an unfeasible, uh, title to get, but... Yeah. You know. A lot of people go for that one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's ended already? <laughs> Maybe it'll whoop, loop back into it. Proceed the way to Kingdom Hearts. Oh, there you go. So you can't miss anything more now, right? 
What? No, no, they're there. Once I get every 100, one of the X's goes away. Oh. This is like a survival thing. Did you get hit? Yes. I found that out by accident. Nope. <laughs> Shocking. I, I also thought you would have to avoid the bombs, not block them. Well, as long as you do not move your sword. Like, it's a very delicate thing to do what I'm doing. But as part of the exercise, so I don't play exactly for Yeah, I just lost a uh, X there, so we're good. Yeah. Okay, now I'm out five at me. And, ah! Ah! Hey! <laughs> so I might have done that just to show you. I'm in the top 100, actually. Of <laughs> <laughs> Just inside top 100. Yeah! 3, Just barely by TLC. <sighs> I mean, I don't. I think yeah, number one is like 140, 14,100. That doesn't sound healthy or feasible. Right. Like, you don't know if maybe there's some kind of aimbot involved. But I would definitely take over a, uh, over 100. Like, like the thing is, cheating in a VR game like that would just sounds hard and not worth it. Mm. And uh, yes, very uh, calorie burning. And oh, there you are. Okay, now I do notice that with this setup that I'm using, there's a little bit of audio desync. Like I was hearing uh. the uh, punks a little after they were sending them. I was like, uh oh. So yeah, I'll try are. just a little bit of Beat Saber, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, by the way, I can't, I can't open it that way. Cause to oh, pff, I hit exit VR. <laughs> F. Uh, turn back on. Okay, there we are. And turn these back on. Let's see if I broke anything. Yeah, but there's always the curse I had of wanting to do uh, Beat Saber, and then every time, like for today, there's a Beat Saber update. But they mm -hmm. released a thing called the Legacy up, uh, Beat Saber like, Launcher. So you can just pick an older version and stay at it. <laughs> so that way the mods stop breaking. I'm like, that is such a good idea. Is that what this is here? Also, let me chat know if you can hear everything. Uh, not yet. I Oh, wait, I'm just seeing like device updates required. I'm yeah, yeah, forward. this kind of pops up here in my emulator. Okay, what screen is it? Oh, there we are. Launch. All right. Beat Saber. Yes. I'll just hit random until I find a couple of good ones. Because I haven't seen if this version I'm on actually supports the, the song submitter. But if it does, maybe sometime soon I got you can finally do one of these big ones again. Yeah. Okay, can you hear that? No. No. So it did a thing again, didn't it? Okay. Well, I probably did a bit of a different thing because I exited VR, which it removed a device. So it might be that the listens uh, are all messed up now. But it's okay. I know what that does, and I know what that means. Mm -hmm. yeah, You're now aware of the issue. I'm aware of the issue. Oh, well, here's this part. So I did do that thing where it changed this part. So if I play it now. Hey, I hear it. Oh, that's easy. Okay, never mind. It wasn't even the listens. Okay, so get out of the favorite ones. These ones are really hard. So, you know, <laughs> I've actually never played any Beat Saber since I entirely changed how I play this game. Like, uh, oh. if I do this, can you see my controllers? Yes. Okay. So these are curved, right? Mm -hmm. I used to hold my controllers down here at the bottom. So they yeah, were kind of yeah. out that way. So now I just hold them normally, and I have to like kind of count Dooku this way but there's so much better balanced that there's not all that weight so the up and downs are not as hard i just had to retrain and that's what i've been doing this past year is retraining my brain to this one it's definitely different but it seems like it will work what do we got here nah, nah oh jojo oh. yep another one. Oh god Something. Oh boy. Whenever you hear vocal, you get scared. Yeah, exactly. No, no, please. Oh, wait. Mm. Me. Oh. Let's see. Oh. 
Okay. Try that one. Hopefully it won't get flagged. How are you doing, Sonic? Okay, is this the part? What well, do you mean part? Yep, that, that's the uncensored version. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard this. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. Yeah, I heard this version first, but it wasn't labeled as Sonic Frontiers. So we were playing Sonic Frontiers. I was just like, wait a minute. <laughs> Sonic, my boy. Live and fucking learn, bitches. Don't do it! Oh no, Sonic! <laughs> Wait, no, who fucked Eggman's wife? <laughs> Shadow. Shadow, yes. This song is dedicated to Eggman, who pissed in the moon. <laughs> oh god, using Shadow's colors too! Oh no! You either live long enough to die, or to see yourself become the villain. Die a hero, or yeah. That's it. That. Thank you. It's hard to I'm think like, and block slap at the same no, no, time. No, I get that. I was like, something's wrong. What was it again? The bed. Oh no. <laughs> Man, gonna be a lot of pain there. Oh, he's talking about hippies, isn't he? Oh god. Aww. You did it! Did it run okay? Yeah! Okay! I actually couldn't tell because I know the song. I couldn't tell if it was in sync or not. <laughs> okay, let's try another one. No. Okay, go a little slower. Yes! Sweet! Let's no! Go. No. Oh. oh, that looks not fun. I'm oh, sure boy, it's fine. Jay, no. Is this custom background or something? They sometimes do that. That's actually further than I okay. thought I would get, because that's a... Okay. I'm learning this number is very helpful. Ah. Now, I did see that it has some, like, frame stop there, but I don't know if that was, like... Was that the internet connection, or was that uh, the stream oh. or whatever? Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to see. Okay, well, find one. I think I'm more around a 7, not a 9.95. <laughs> hmm. You know, that part, that, that happens in the game. I have uh, over a thousand songs loaded in here. 
You know, I, I'm also just trying to listen. Like, is, is does this song sound hard? No. You. Not you again. Nope. 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 I remember that one. Nope. Big metal shoe. Hey, Donner. Nope. Ah, oh, money. <laughs> that one's a. Ah, oh, eleven. Bye. Yes, great. Yeah, let's go for that one. No. Nope. Ah, <laughs> uh, only three ten. Uh, no. Okay, five point seven. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, I actually, there was one I wanted to show. What was that? Oh. Oh god. Well, some, one song you probably avoided playing for a while because you wanted to show it off on stream. <sighs> so yeah, I definitely remember what the name of it is. Oh wait, uh -huh. no, because I moved them. They're all out of order too. Sorry, so don't worry like, about that one. Time. Time. Uh, Warrior was uh, a, a collage of a lot of different songs. Oh, yes. That one is a meme map. I think like 50 minutes long or something like that, was it? Yeah. Not that one. Yeah, I would not be surprised if this stream got uh, very delayed between Chad and uh, you because of the frame issues. Oh, my ears? No, like if the... Uh, Chat oh. and stream got delayed because of the frames. Like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. That's we been have happening. fifty thousand drop drop frames, so you know. Ooh, yeah, that's a concern too. I still haven't quite fixed the internet, but I'm trying to get there. Mm. But it only really happened during the fishing. Interesting. So like the the nice little calm spot. Uh, oh, frostbite. I mean, okay, a good warm-up one. I know exactly what I want to do next. This is actually like a uh, Friday Night Funkin' uh, mod song. Yes, yes, I remember seeing it. I was like, ooh, this song is really good. I actually looked it up after finding it in here. Did, did you see who made it? No. It, it's the same guy that has made a lot of other songs that you've also been like, oh, this looks nice. Oh, Cam Camellia? No, close. Okay. Hmm. It has like a listen icon on his like avatar. Oh, retrospector? Yes, it's retrospector. No. What has it done recently? I I haven't seen him in a while. Okay, he uploaded a video yesterday, so did fine. No, okay, good. I like he understandably slowed down his upload speed since the uh, height of uh, Friday Night Funkin', but, you know. Oh, yeah, he's doing a lot with that. Yeah, I think I've had such a long hiatus with this game. I completely missed the Friday Night Funkin'. Was that it? Is that the one that I missed? Maybe. Oh, I just realized there's a lot of like uh, uh, videos that's released recently, and uh, Pixar's new movie just came out in theaters. The Elemental one? Yes. Oh, okay. Did you well? Had a worse opening in modern Pixar history. It looked a little weird. I'll give it. Huh. 
Did it, did it, is it like a sleeper hit though, where it's actually good if you watch it? It just looks weird, or is it just not? I, I, think, people, I think it's just, it's fine at best, I think, from what I've seen. It's just not grabbing people. It's, it, it's not like Soul, for, to put it that way. Like, I remember Soul being like, oh, people are excited, saw a bit more like, uh. Ah. And yeah, then, uh, like, so uh, people, it released and people really liked it. Okay. But that was also one that didn't release in theaters. Same with the uh, Turning Red. Gotcha. At least in theaters. So I wonder if Elemental just really didn't vibe mm -hmm. with people. Right, right. Well, it has such an interesting art style. It does. And also it has a store that's done to death, but also like it tries to send a message, but that wouldn't really work in our... Like, they are like, you know, yeah, you, you shouldn't be afraid of uh, like, like, they, obviously there's something with like, if there's fire people and water people, oh! Oh, like, oh, I see. There's a genuine thing like, yeah, of course that has like preconceived notions in that world mm -hmm. not working. That doesn't really translate well to our worlds. Mm -hmm. Okay. So people are like, the story just has been done to death and also would be humble, handled clumsily almost no matter how they do mm -hmm. it. Because they can't really delve into it because they have to play a little safe. Yeah. That makes sense. But okay, I'm going to do one last one and I know exactly yeah. which one I want to do. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is that loud enough? Can you hear that? Uh, I hear that. Maybe a little louder, but it sounds if, fine. Can I do? No. Okay, so how do I make it a little louder? Because you do not make this song too quiet. Oh, I can't. I can't oh, it's it loud enough. It's, it's Let's just assume it's loud enough, then. Okay. So I get those. Okay. Jesus Christ! What was that about? Some things have happened in the past year. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, what, ha what happened since last time I blinked? What? <laughs> Oh god, you're halfway there. I, you got this. I'm sorry for saying anything. <laughs> Thank you. 
Nice. Oh, I feel like that, that one. Was... Yeah, that one's nuts, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so things have changed since last time. Oh, yeah, a little bit. You really have to retrain your brain for those long lines too. So it's like the 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 choppy ones yeah. are harder, but the lines are nice. You're like, oh, I can follow you. Thank you. Yeah, like you know, like you just got the hand alongside the line, just opposite, essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really and you neat. follow the line well. Yeah, it's cool. But the actually, I think of this map for most of the past year, but then none of the like official score, like unofficial, like the, the leaderboards, yeah, they haven't yeah. figured out how to score those yet. <laughs> so those songs have never been ranked in any way. You beat that song like I beat it. Yeah, we can't. Uh, we can't trust your score. Oh, come on, that was really hard though. That looked so cool doing it. Yeah, I was like please. I want to... I beat so many cool songs. There's so little cool songs. Oh, anyway, thank you for the test. Yeah. So maybe you can do actual one later. Actually, have like a submission for it. Cause I've been I've been wanting to, but I'm like I don't I don't want to suffer through the tech issues. No, please. <laughs> And I know for sure the moment I do it, since I, since I now have defeated the, uh, like, update issue, the internet issue is going to get me. Like, yay, Beat Saber! Jeff, 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 Jeff. <laughs> That's not going to go very well. But yes, I wish get some food. The wonder can sit up for the variety. Oh, mm. and that should be good. Oh. So, cool, cool. Well, we'll get that ready for that one. Uh, happy to be back. Uh, looking forward to seeing you guys for some Tears of the Kingdom. Very, very excited. Very. Ooh, <laughs> ooh I finally get to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I have one question, Sass. You've beaten the game, right? Uh, yes. Is it, can it in any way be Tears of the Kingdom? I love answering that. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Because it's like, it just no, seems I, to be I, really I'm not allowing you to get that answer to that. Oh, man. I think it would be really funny to, like, oh, what is it? Get to the end of the game, and then someone pronounces the game. Finally, you found it. The Tears of the Kingdom. Like, ah, come on. Oh, that would be really funny. But yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to, oh, I can microwave an egg again. I haven't done that in a week. Fuck. Yeah! No, Jay, that became a bad Twitter trend just, or that TikTok trend just not too long ago. Microwaving eggs has become a TikTok trend? Yes, because they exploded. Oh, oh, oh that, that's true. That they, they, they do do that. They do do that. Uh, they, I mean, okay, the trick is to do it 30 seconds, wait, 30 seconds, wait. Well, if you're doing the two eggs at a time. Still builds. Yeah, but I mean, as long as you wait, I mean, okay, it's really bad when you're wrong, but often you can do pretty good. <laughs> Dear list of the kingdom. Yes. I just got, we'll figure that out tomorrow. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be good. I'm going to go get my TikTok egg, I guess. You yeah. microwave them with that, sh with the shell on. No, no. I use a, like a red cup and it comes with a vented lid that keeps the steam in and that helps them cook. Like apparently you can do it with like a bowl and saran wrap, but the, the, the plastic the plastic cup works well and prevents you from having to use saran wrap every night building that up. So we'll see. This boil it? I don't have a, I mean, I guess I could. I, the, the microwave is fine. They just haven't, they haven't matched my skill level at the microwaving eggs. It's crazy. So. It's in a mug. Uh, kind of. It's, it's, it's in a specialized egg cup. Uh, I'll have to get you a picture of it at some point. It's interesting. I think it might do better if I actually like rubber banded the thing close. Anyway, anyway, I'm talking about food. I'm not eating it. I want you to eat yeah, the food. Yeah, I was going to say either way. <laughs> yes, either way. Thank you for coming. Looking forward to a week of streams. It'll be beautiful. And we will also see you in, in 15 minutes. Yes, yes. We will see you in 15 minutes for the variety. For... Yes. Is, it, is it still Pride Month? It is still Pride Month, right? Or is it not? The Isn't month hasn't ended. Listen, I've been gone for a week. I couldn't yeah, remember if it was last four. month or this <laughs> month. I'm sorry. I will educate myself, I promise. Okay, yes, yes. We'll see you there for that one. I'm sorry, I'm okay. Out of the wall. There, there. Anyway, we will see you very soon. And thank you for coming. Uh, 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 bye.
I think I can do...